<laughs> I let Bella fill it and finish my bagel. Sorry, it's an everything bagel, so. <laughs> hi, Maria. Hi, Kim. Hi, Tiger. Thank you guys so much for coming. Hey, girl. Thanks, Gina. Hey, Misty. Hi, Normie. Hey, Jules. Hi, D. D. Hey, Lori. When D, when I was packing or getting stuff ready yesterday, I was like, oh, dang it. Hey, Annette, I still got to send you those little birds I want to send you. Uh, all right. I'm drinking lemonade today. I am trying to cut back on some things. So I'll have some lemon. I'll only have iced coffee if it's before noon. Oh, these little birds I got that I found that have Niagara Falls on them. Hi, Karen. Hi, Beth. All right. I probably have seeds in my teeth. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Well, oh, hi, Becky. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, well, you guys, um, oh, I miss you too. Cena, hey, Belinda, hi, Miss Dam. Cena, girl, where have you been? Hi, Christy, oh, hi, Vicky, thank you, and welcome. Hey, Jennifer. Um, Cena, it has been months. I haven't seen you at any sale. Well, I don't go to a lot of sales. Girl, the last time you probably were on my channel, I maybe had 300 subscribers. <laughs> Thrifting in the holler. Hello. Hey. Hey, Carol. Do you see your bottles in the background? You're going to get those. You've been busy. I, girl, I hear you. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I know a lot of people. Oh, thanks, Cena. Um, I know a lot of people thought that, um, <laughs> thanks, Linda. Well, I'm at it. Uh huh. Part two is tomorrow. So you'll have to see. I mean, now, it's not what other people would call organized. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Oh, yes, I believe. I believe it is by a small little band in the across the pond. Mm -hmm. Hey, CJ. Um, yeah, um, for some people, this would be like needing to be organized. But for me, this is organized because I'm dealing with a small space. Hi, Trina. Did I say hi, Belinda? I think I did. Hey, Sarah Lee. I knew I missed somebody. Mm -hmm. Hey, Amanda. Girl. Um, yeah, life happened all over me. <laughs> um, the day of the Kelly sale, uh, right after the Kelly sale, um, I found out that my, um, uh, my boyfriend's um, son had passed unexpectedly at age 22. So, um, 
for those of you that didn't know that, that's that. Uh, I know a lot of people thought I crashed and burned from too many sales. Well, no, no such thing. I mean, I might lose track of some shipping sometimes, but I could do these sales 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I mean, you know what I mean? This is just kind of like where I um, kind of feel like I come alive. So, um, yeah, I know a lot of people were just like, oh, she's just burnt out. And No, I love this. I love this. And so, um, yeah. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for understanding. And um, tomorrow um, I will be getting the tail end of the unfinished um, shipping in. And then I... I gotta start working on the Kelly sale shipping. So um yeah, thank you. Hey Larry. So yeah, um it's you know you can imagine. And um I have uh only got <laughs> I say only for me it's an only. I'm doing 40 items today. I uh, I will be keeping it to, to a realistic number going forward. Um, the boho sale got out of hand because I didn't realize how much boho I had. And I ended up doing like 100 items that day. That's why I'm so behind. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, you know, and I don't, I don't really, you know, I didn't really want to go into it and dwell on it. But, um, you know, it's always going to be there. Oh, thank you, Cena. Um, well, and it's not really me going through it. It's him. It it really is him. Um, mm -hmm. February will be a uh, junk journaling month, I would imagine. Yeah. I can't say it'll happen in January because I will just be too, too. I need to really get. I really need to get one thing done before I can do another. Right. So, um. Yeah, I'm I'm okay. I I am. Thank you. It's um not about me. This is this is not at all about me. Okay. Um, so anyway, it just you know, it's why I took a week off or a good chunk of a week off. And um so yeah. So um if you guys are at Tuesday's four way sale, um you were able to see me basically, um, I don't know, I guess put my foot in my mouth or up my butt or something. Uh, so I just want to apologize for anyone that I offended or anyone that didn't kind of get what we were saying. Um, and I tried too hard to, to um, explain things when I should have just zipped my lip. Okay. So I'm um, not going to say any more about that because I, I'm i just not. <laughs> um, because I tend to say too much and that's what gets me in trouble. So moving on. Um, I have a mixture of stuff today. I have like no direction of what I've got. But you guys, I will just tell you right now. I... I have jumped on, or I am jumping on, the merch bandwagon. Yes, I am. Yes. Thank you, Jay Nelson. Um, so, um, yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, girl. Yeah, thanks, Christy. You're my marketing director, so. <laughs> ah, right? Oh, stickers. Hmm, I never thought about stickers. Um, So here's the thing. My bestie's daughter, who is also my daughter's bestie. <laughs> see how that works? She is insanely talented in the art department. And um, I have ideas. Like, for days, okay? But I don't have the talent. I mean, if I showed you my makeshift of what I was trying to show her, you guys would 
like seriously like put me on like whatever America's got funny comedian talent. I don't know what those shows are called. <laughs> a friend of mine was on it though, but and he's funnier than heck. Um but anyway, um yeah. Oh yeah. I have an idea. And I got some feedback and of course I had an idea for the second one and I was just like talking to Michael and I was like, no, nah, that's just not it. And then he said something and I was like, and he goes, hmm, I think I like that. And he goes, I think I really do like that. And I was like, I think I really do like that too. So Michael gets all the credit for one of them and you'll know when it happens. Um, so yeah, I have, I, I know exactly what I want as far as, um, the wording. Yes. <laughs> he gets, he always has to give me the stamp of approval. Him and, uh, Misty and Laura are usually, and then I, and then if I, if I'm like still unsure, I keep going to the rest of my crew, you know, but like sometimes those are the ones I talk to probably the most often. And, um, oh, I'm so glad, Kim. And, um, yeah, so, uh, cause, um, uh, De uh, Laura was like, you gotta have a peace sign. You gotta have a peace sign. And I was like, oh, and that kind of helped me to, um, figure out the rest of what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, did I? Cause he does that. Except I can't do it. My big fat head. He's got the right everything. He's like, he has that look of judgment without being judgy, right? Because he's just like the best. So yeah, um, I know that, okay, from looking at some things on Teespring, for instance, um, <laughs> I think you meant boho, but I got you. <laughs> um. Hi, Pat. Hi, Mariah. Um, I know different people have different, like, blends of t-shirts. So I need to know which... Hey, Shirley Pearl! Um, I need to know whose t-shirts you like the feel of the best. Not the best vi uh, the best sayings. I'm not talking about that because they're all awesome. And those Thrift You shirts I saw, there was one that I just love the font on it so much. V-neck. Girl, yes. Hello. He hello. Yes. V-neck. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry about that. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Fine. Oh, I hope I don't get tinny. Um... Bella Canvas brand. Oh, Bella Canvas brand. Hi, Corey. Remind me of that later. Well, I wait. No, I can write it down. Um. So, um. I also some people were talking about bags, and I was like, really? Is that something that you know? Do people really want tote bags? And I mean, because girls. If you're worried about plus sizes, um, hello, you know I'll have plus sizes. Okay. Um, but um, yes, I definitely was looking at V-necks and the colors that I am looking at the most, totes are cool too. Okay. The co colors I'm looking at most, because I don't know if you can, I think you can get like whatever colors, but for me it's like gonna be black and or um a pink. And, oh, yes, bags. Bags and stickers. Okay. Okay, you guys, thank you. See, this is this is why I, I, I'm not just, I, I mean, I'm going to do t-shirts too. I don't know about hoodies or sweatshirts or whatever. I'm not sure how many people really, you know, I feel like you can wear a t-shirt all year long. Oh, tank tops? Well, you know, maybe in the summer we'll get there. I know some of you are in the summer. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Mango. <laughs> Tie-dye, wow. Well, I don't know. Tie-dye might be too much because of the idea that I have if I can work it out. Because she's also, I'm also going to have, um, finally get business cards going. Um, so, yeah. So, 
Um, and I like, oh, I know, Belinda, I thought of that. And somebody else, I think, maybe Rebecca um, might have mentioned that too. I know, I'm not sure if that's possible. But yes, I did look into, I, I did look, because there are ones that do like socks and stuff. So, um, okay, cool. I just, tie-dye would be too busy for what I am. Um, oh, okay. A crossbody bag. Heck yes, if that's possible. Okay, you guys, this is what I need. Ha mm, hi, Jeannie. Yeah, I just don't like the man t-shirts and out. <laughs> then I got to cut them. And then what happens? I cut them too wrong and I put butcher them and I can no longer wear something that I just spent who knows how much on. Okay. 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 I hear you guys. I hear you guys. Uh, um, 11... Uh, you mean like to cover this up, Joanne? You mean we should we aren't supposed to be proud of that? <laughs> what? Hi Sue. Hi Lisa. Thumb holes. Oh. No cap sleeves. Oh, yeah, no. Mm. Okay, well, you guys gave me a lot of ideas. I don't think I can accom a date. A com a date. <laughs> Hi Trisha. Hi Donna. Denise, yay! Melissa! That's <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'm going to do kimonos for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can accommodate all the requests, but I will definitely be looking at all that. So, um, yeah, so you guys, I can't wait till you see. And you might already have seen some things. But yeah, I can't wait. Ah, I can't wait. I hope this, I hope I can make it happen fast. We'll see, right? So let me get a swig of my lemonade. Yeah, like a spring line or a summer line, I mean, yeah. Hey, Baba J. Okay. Ah, okay. Let's kick it off with a little doggy. Oh, I pinned my info at the top this time. So, comfycozyliving at gmail.com. If you are not already one of my peeps and you buy something, that's where you need to send, and that's what you need to send. Um, so, hi, Erin. Wow, almost at 100 before I even start. Oh, if only I could get two more people comfy is number one. Thank you. No, yeah, you have to have, you have to have 10,000 to have it on your, um, shelf is what the, hey, Danielle. Um, no, Ra Rachel's at school. Um, um. To have that shelf, D, like what um, uh, I think um, Misty has it and uh, um, Alex has it. Hey, Sandra. Lisa. Um, oh, Polly. Hi. Oh, yay. Um, oh, I have over 100. Yay. Um, so um, um to have that shelf on your YouTube channel, then it's all connected, but I can still do it. You just would have to go to, you know, I mean, it's like probably an extra step or two. Yeah. And Joanne, I didn't say hi when I was talking to you. So hi, Joanne. And also like, I don't know what it is, but there's somewhere. Um, you still sell it. It's just that it's not on your, like, I would probably have to go into my description, I suppose, and put it myself. It's, I think, like, put a link instead of it. I don't know. 
Hey, Beth. Um, yeah, I know. A couple weeks, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's what you gotta do. Um, yeah, it'll be a while. Hey, girl. Hey, Jamie. My other half. Um, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a while till I get to 10,000, you guys. Come on. I'm only at 2,000. Let's get real. <laughs> 10,000. I don't even dream 10,000. <sighs> That'd be awesome, though. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Very good, Diane, though. That's very good. Um, Butterfly Nurse, she got one her first one, too. Yeah. Do it like fat birds. Yeah. Hi, Susie. Yeah, they... Um, they might have a better angle because... Um... um Miss uh, MB, she is a graphic designer. She's multi-talented and she can, she's got knowledge and probably, uh, okay, okay, cool beans. Yeah, um, so, all right, well, let's keep going here, okay? Girl, yeah, you got to jump on it. Like, well, I mean, me and you are probably behind in that, right? Because the youngsters, right? They all have the handle on everything. <laughs> well, I, my my um my bestie's daughter, who is my daughter's bestie. I, I said this earlier, but you probably weren't here. She's working on something for me because she's mega talented. So... She said to me, she said, I have an iPad and an Apple Pencil so I can do whatever you want, something like that. I'm like, um, please, you're talking another language with all that gobbledygook about, I, I don't know, squat about an Apple product, and I sure don't know anything about being artistic outside of my brain. Okay, I am creative and I have a ton of ideas, but I don't have talent in my brain. I can draw it up perfect. Okay, and then when I do it for reals, um, let's just say, yeah, no, uh, I where did my other little piece go? Oh, it fell over here. I um tried to draw something and then I tried to cut something else out. See, pen peace sign. That's my peace sign cut out to try to get <laughs> I like cuffs. I like had to, to do that. Oh! D. I am not even a cat person. I mean, I like them, but I don't have them. But I would wear a t-shirt that had Binx's butthole on it. I'm just saying. Hi, aging beginner. But yes, if I need help, I will definitely reach out. I, I know all you guys are so awesome and would help me. But yeah, because my talents run thin. <laughs> you right, Amy? Okay, you guys. The dog. <laughs> I forgot I already showed you guys the dog. Okay, so um, when I was looking at the dog online, um, it says it's chalkware. And there is a, a small chip, it, like, right on his ear, right there. So I was like, well, let me see you by the chip. Because, I mean, it's weird how the paws are so meg, mega huge, right? And, um, but there were two other ones that I saw when I Googled it or whatever. And, he's <laughs> been through my I love that word. Um, and um, they were just different colors. And I'm like, well, I guess is this considered? You know, because it sounds like it just, I know it's a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah. Um, I actually have that written down. I guess I probably didn't say it yet, though. Um, but it sounds like just regular ceramic to me. So I don't know. I think people don't always know the right words to use. I know I don't. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Mm. So, um, so anyhow, he's, he's really cute. 
He's chunky, like, got chunky feet to me. And look at him. So cute. So cute. He's $12 and he's number 28. $12 and he's number 28. And I am going to be busting out the shipping tomorrow. And I mean tonight if I have to, too. Okay, I got I got Dragonfly Attic. Thank you, Beth. And if I am missing, you guys yell, you know, all caps, yell at me if I am missing something. Okay. If my regular people are not here that usually do my um my offer ups, so um I'll have to I'll have to uh, keep my um, eyes open. Love the skirt. Oh, good, Janice. Yes. I can't wait. Oh, I'm so glad that it, oh, oh, I love that skirt. Isn't it awesome? Thank you. I'm so glad you love it. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go with this right away then. I know it's kind of a lot, but I'm just going to come out with this right away because it's right here. This weighs, first of all, just about right under four pounds. Okay. Um, it is a, it's called HQT is the brand. HQT Handmade Home Design. It's um, blown glass and it's got this piece on the bottom. Okay. So that will sit because it's round. So it's flattened on the bottom. So it will sit. And isn't it cool looking? The turquoise, the like um, kind of earthy colors. It's, you know what? It's like a little smaller than a golf ball. And like, see how I'm holding it? Because I used to go, I got bowl. You guys, I'm from Milwaukee, bowling capital of the world, right? Um, I was in uh, on a, oh, there's my little Kim, little pretty. Um, I was on a bowling league, my Eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, and eleventh grade years, and I still have my bowling ball that says Michelle, and it's out in my um, backyard in my garden. Mm -hmm. But it this is more for inside, but you could put it wherever you want, you know, like I do. Put things where you want, do what you want with them. But yes, that's how I'm holding it. It doesn't have any holes in it, but that's how I'm holding it. And so it's, I would say it's just a little smaller than a golf a bowling ball, and you know, lighter. <laughs> But the colors, it it kind of, it's like almost like you're looking from at the earth from way up high or something. You know what I mean? But, but you know, instead of the, um, well, I don't know how it would look with light shining through. I don't really, because I kind of still see a, a reflection of me, you know. I'm not seeing through it. I'm seeing my reflection. Um, but like instead of. Instead of like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, like seeing the shape of like the countries and the water and stuff. It just looks like it's all mushed or, you know, swirled in here together. And then on the top, it gets like, you can feel it a little more, um, of texture. It's not totally smooth, but it's totally cool is what it is. Right. Isn't that neat? So this is going to be $28. And it's number six, $28, and it's number six. Okay. Patty Robley beat Miss Shirley Pearl. You must have some killer uh, internet, Miss Patty. And welcome um, to my channel. Please make sure that you uh, see the pin at the top on where to send your information. I because you've never been to one of my sales that I'm aware of. Um okay, next up is and I this next thing I have two of. And that is this. It's the um it's a federal okay now here's the thing. Um when I looked it up, hey Julie Okay, 
Nothing wrong with being a newbie. We all were newbies at some point. Um, uh, some places it says it's pressed glass, and some places it says it's depression glass. Now, I don't know about this being depression glass, because I know all depression glass is not, you know, colored. Um, but anyway, this is uh, federal. Uh, uh, it's called Federal Star. See? Um, glass pitcher, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> My brain. Um, so there's the star in there, which you can also see from there, right? And it's short. You see the, the height. It's like, um, well, what would that height be? This, and they, and they have like, I guess I would say some flea bites around the edges. I don't really call it. It's like kind of, kind of, it's not like a sharp thing. And it, it's like very just flea bitey and bumpy-ish. Because it's like that on this one too. And this one also has like just a little bit of a chippy, a little barely on a bit of a chip right there. And I just noticed that inside of this needs to be cleaned a little better. Um, but then you see the like starburst, right? This is so like throwback. Retro. So like I said, I have two of them. So the first two people that um, call out the number, we'll get it. It's $15 and it's number nine. $15 for each one, number nine. I mean, this would be so cute for a bouquet of flowers and stuff too. You know what I mean? Just very, I, I like the, I mean, and or filled up with, um, you put like the little white beads. So it looks like you have a pitcher of milk <laughs> or I mean, like use it too. It's a, it's nice and short, so it's not heavy with when it's filled, right? Aging beginner, yay. Okay, aging beginner, only one um since nobody else claimed, you get the choice of um both if you would like. If you only want one, that's fine. If you want two, that's okay too. So let me know. Okay, you got it. So, this next item is some of you ladies that will be like, oh yeah. Bam. How's all about a little Valley of the Dolls? Now, yes, this book might have seen better days, but, you know, it is, like, from 1967, I think this one is. This, um, oh, it's a classic for sure. I have a couple classics today. Um, actually, I have another one that I might pull out. I might. Yeah. And there's another, there's one I read in middle school. Oh, I'll probably pull that out. Hi, Kelly! Yay, Kelly's here! Um, this one was published in 1967. You guys, if you have, if you have the first edition of this, and it's like not in uh, paperback, it's it looks totally different. It's like 1,500, 100, yes, like 1,500 dollars. Anyway, this one's only $6 <laughs> for Walk Down Memory Lane. $6 and it's number 40. Four zero, six dollars Okay, next up is this cool purse. It's got, okay, so it's pretty big, and I should have measured it. And where did my, there it is. 
it's about, we're just going to give about measurements. About 14 by 18. You sure can, Lisa. You got it. Thank you, Lisa. It's number nine. It doesn't matter for me because I keep track of everything. So, um... So it's, uh, let's see, did I say like 14 by 18 approximately? Okay, look at it. It's like a pink, and it's kind of like a velour. At first I wanted to say it was suede, but no, it's it's like a velour, but not like a tacky velour. Do you know what I mean? And it's got like this shearling kind of, and then it's got these cool toggle buttons, okay? So the toggle buttons with, and the, and the, this is, um, like um, made of nylon or something, so it's not gonna shred or or fray or whatever. But this is a great little pocket for your phone, your keys, your um, gum pack of gum, um, lip balm. I I mean like the go to things. If you're a that would be a good place for it. Um, then there's like these other little pockets inside of those, which I think is so cool. And then it's got just this great like detail right there on the back side of it and on the front. So, uh, no, that, yeah, see right there on that side and then right here on that side. I just think that's neat. And then this is uh cool because it's got this like, and see it says Gap Jeans on there, this button detail. But then it also is like you can shorten this if you want to. I got it lengthened. I was like, okay, let me see if you can get it. And you sure can get it over the shoulder. And then look at the inside. It's so cool. I just love that kind of detail. And then it's got these cool buttons for their, that, for that, like, kind of, um, side pocket, and then there's another one of those buttons for another side pocket, and then it's got, it's very roomy, very roomy. Oh, somebody had a little, um, paper, like a paper punch, one little piece of a hole, and, um, it's clean. Ah, it's hard to show, right? But it's awesome. It is super cool. Yeah, it's like a school bag, kind of. I just think it's an awesome, like, kind of winter bag. I don't know. Um, and, um, and then when you store it away, I mean, you can just, like, fold it like that. Look. Man. I mean, if this is all you bought, I could put this in a, um, a padded envelope easily. So... Uh, this is $20 and oh, did I say it's by the gap? It's by the gap. Yeah. $20 and it's number three, $20 number three. Oh, I love it. It's just so cool. I, I kind of like the, just the cool vibe, right? All right, Carol, you got it. Carol Verbeerst, you got it. All right. Next is this little basket. Um, it's very lightweight. It's just a little square basket that's got a hinged lid. You know, for I mean, if you had it like at your desk, you could put like rubber bands or uh um push pins or paper clips and or if you had this in your bathroom you could have um 
Q-tips or like all your lip balms, you know, or something like that. Or just a bunch of, yeah, like if you, um, oh yes, this would be cool for assemblage. It would be. Also good for supplies of any kind. And it's just very lightweight, okay? This little piece wants to be coming out, but you get right back in there. So on the bottom, it's a little bigger. And then on the sides, it's smaller, okay? And then like that. Okay, that's num that's six dollars and it's number thirty-two. Six dollars number thirty-two. <laughs> oh you guys, these next ones are so good. Janice, you got it. And if you guys have bought from me before. Remember, you have do there's no need to send me your information. I got you. Um, you guys, this next set is I love it so much. So it's by Lang. The Lang Company is local to me. Local, it's in my county. It is a couple towns over in Waukesha. It actually is in Delafield. I'm surprised it says De Waukesha on here, but it's actually Delafield. Um, and it's it's kind of like a little bit of country more. Um, but really cool, different designs, um, kind of sort of Mackenzie Childs, Mary Englebright, kind of think along the lines of some of that sort of thing. And it's kind of like that. Hey, Texas Sparkle Boutique. And so these are, these are note cards and envelopes. I, you know how Goodwill does. They taped it on every side, every side. Well, guess what I did? Hey, Will! Uh, I, I, got them all, I got all the tape off, and you can't, I don't think you can even tell there was tape on there. Pretty sure you can't, really. But, so this is like, you could use this, you could gift this. Let me just show you, okay? This is what the card looks like. This is called June and Marge, okay? Take a, take, take a look there. Uh-huh. Are we feeling that? I think we're feeling that. And then, you know, on the inside of the card, it's just the house in the background. See, see, there's the house in the background. So in the inside, it's just the house in the background. And then you got the, the card to write on. And it's a really nice. <laughs> yes. It's me and Misty. It is. So you guys, if you want, and it's a, it's a set of 13 cards and envelopes. If you want a box of stationery, basically note cards with me and Misty on the cover, <laughs> these are $10 and it's number two, $10 number two. <laughs> oh, Misty, Misty. <laughs> okay um the next thing is um if you are from boston this might be something you will be interested in this is it's a uh, one dozen assorted do notes and envelopes the store was Ant Ancient Mariner of Gloucester. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And it says North of Boston. And it says Rockport, Gloucester, Salem, and Marblehead. So this says Goff Notes, Sudbury, Massachusetts. And Goff is the um, artist, I guess you could say. Hi, Cindy J. So I'm going to take these out. So um, this, well, now, okay, I see. This one's just the, the this page 
Do you sell the glass shakers? Um, oh, the ones that you see in the background, somebody, somebody emailed me about them. So I don't typically do that a lot because I don't have like as many great things as some other people. So a lot of times I'm like, I really want my great things to be in my live sales. Um, and also I can't keep up with all the extra stuff on the side, but I did. Sometimes I do. Gloucester. Gla Glouse, Gla Glavster? Glavs like, is that with a V or a W? Is that a W? Hi, Margaret Gwen. Yeah, Gloucester. Gloucester. Okay. I knew it wasn't. Lucky to oh, yeah. Okay, so here's one. It's Eastern Point Light, Gloucester, Massachusetts. And then it's the, the note. Okay. And then there's all these, and you can tell it's a little uh, vintage because <laughs> it's a little bit brown on the edges. Margo, my girl, Margo. Margo, you sent me the, oh, just the sweet, you guys, I got the best friend mail from you guys this week. I, I, I always do. I'm always getting great friend mail from you guys. Okay. So I don't know why. This side only, this side, okay, this side has the envelopes. This is what, okay. Let me, uh, let me try to do this now. That little pack, side of the packet has the envelopes. Because if you guys are from that area, you might be interested in actually seeing what they are. Because then that might be what you want to buy. So it's, there's that one, okay. And then this one is Motif. Number one, Rockport, Massachusetts. Oh, then there's this sailor dude. They that go down in the sea in ship, got down to the sea in ships. This must be a, um, this must be a state statue. Okay, so some of them are vertical and some of them are horizontal. And then this is Abbott Hall Marblehead. Massachusetts. See, I would like this. If it was just like something in Milwaukee, I'd be like, ooh, I want that. The Witch House. Salem, Massachusetts. We all have heard of that. Um, well, that looks nice. Salem, Massachusetts. Custom House, 1819. Hawks House, 1801. Derby House, 1762. Wow. These are magnificent houses. Um, the House of Seven Gables, Salem, Massachusetts. Ooh, that's awesome, too. <laughs> the Gordon's Fisherman, he did. And then this is, is this that one that I, that was on the cover? No, maybe not. Anyhow, this is Gloucester, Massachusetts. Uh, this one's Rockport. Oh, this one just looks like a street we all want to live on. Rockport. Hi, Barb! This is motif number one. Didn't I already? No, maybe not. Rockport. These are very cool. Ooh, this one's very cool. This is, um, it doesn't say. Looks like somebody's making or working on a houseboat. And then here's another Marblehead, Massachusetts. These are cool. So did anybody count those? It, the artist is Goff. Um, it's Goff Notes, G-O-F-F. -F. Sudbury, Massachusetts. Hey, Pooh Schnuda. Um, and I thought it did it say on the front what the Goff's name? No, it's just Goff. Oh, it's C. I think it's C M Goff. G O F F. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. Well, exactly what they promised. 
I thought I had counted that yesterday, but you know how sometimes, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. So, bam. Hi, Yvonne. So these are, which they're totally awesome. These are going to be $10, and they are number 27. $10, number 27. This next item, oh, Margo, you got it. This next item, it fell on the floor when I was doing my um, haul the other day, so I didn't ever show it, but it's super groovy. Uh -huh. Oh, so vintage. I'm peachy denim pack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They tell a story, that's for sure. Um, yeah, this patch is, this patch is peachy, if you ask me. So this patch, it speaks for itself. It's a winking peach. This is the kind of thing I would have had on my jeans back when I was a kid. 10 or 11, 12 years old. Oh yeah, this is so cool. Eight dollars, and it's number thirty-one. Eight dollars, number thirty-one. Okay, um, I'm trying to. I need to keep. Things that didn't sell somewhere special. Okay, there. So, there's that. There's that. This is going to end up going on uh, a jacket of mine, I think. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you, Mary Grubbs. Thank you. Um, okay, so... This next item is going to be a offer up because I had a lot of people asking about it whenever that was that I um, showed it. So um, I just, it's just so hard to remember. Um, so we're going to just start at 15. And what we're going to do, so like I said, we're starting at 15. And I will describe it. And um, the the offers um, can go up from 15 until they slow down. We're just going to count back from five then. Um, how we've been doing it lately, I guess, is the best way to describe it. So this is, um, it's made in China, but it was made exclusively for Teleflora in 1983. So, yeah, that's uh, getting there in age, right? And for its age, it's in really good condition. It is, uh, it's got this little Teleflora mark on the strawberry right there. Where is it? Right there. It's, it's, I mean, it's on both sides actually, but, um, it's so nice. It's like that, what do you call them? Enamel, enamelware, whatever. So it's got like that, like natural little, like, um, like, you know how they have like the natural little flaws and in that so this is in really good shape there might be some little like marks from being next to something else probably a little um i'm gonna guess a little barkeeper's friend take that right off um but um nobody's interested huh okay okay well that's all right i'll just put it aside <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Um, if anybody is into um, like writing or stationery or anything like that, um, this is some designer stationery. It's gorgeous. It is um, by Marcel Sherman Company. It's printed in Switzerland. 
by Laser ABC and it's laser compatible. Now it does have a how much is the enamelware? Oh, it was gonna be it was an offer up. So it was starting at 15. For this, no, I didn't give a number because it was an offer up starting at 15. Hi pickled. So is there more than one person interested? It sounds like Margo and maybe Cena are both interested. Oh, very good, Pickled. Glad to hear you're all right. Okay, so if you're interested, Cena, um, we started at 15, then we go up. Uh, you can, you know, it's like uh, making an offer. You can go to 16, then, then 17, and you know how it goes. Um, and, um, and then when it slows down, we count it back, uh, from five, four, three, two, one, and then that person gets to buy it. So. Can it really be? Um, I don't know if it really can. I mean, I don't know how many people would use it other than for some decorative purposes. So I'm not sure, to be quite honest. Um, so, uh, Sina, are you interested? I know uh, it looks like Margo is interested at, fifth, uh, at it, in it. <laughs> interested in it at 15. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't. I mean, you give it a good wash and... I would put, you know, things in here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with uh I, I think I think you get it, Margo, for fifteen. I'll say five, four, three, two, and one. So there you go, Margaret. You got it. Uh, let's get back there real quick. So 15. Yeah, and I, I just, I didn't really know because I had seen, you know, some people say you should only do offer ups on your best things. But hey, Maria. Um, but for me, sometimes it's like, okay, well, I saw like the prices were all over the place on um, eBay. And so, you know, then I'm like, okay, well, I don't really know what the best way to go for that is. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, then sometimes that's the one I, I take, I'm happy to take a chance on. So. Oh, yeah, I don't know. All right. So that. Over here. Okay. So um, back to the designer stationery. Isn't it pretty? Look at that. If you do calligraphy. <laughs> I don't cook that much. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to be the guinea pig. Isn't that pretty? And so I'm guessing this is, I mean, you can see up close that it's a nicer paper. And it's um, eight stationary sheets and eight envelopes. It's laser compatible. It originally sold for $14.95 US, $22.50 Canada. Isn't that pretty? So that's um, going to be $8, and it's number 16. It's $8, number 16. I don't want to take it out of the package because it's not been opened, you know. But the envelopes alone are really nice. Um, but I thought, you know, somebody might like this to use as a gift for somebody that they know um, that does this, you know, that does, like, calligraphy or, um, you know, writes a lot of letters or something like that. 
you know, it's hard to buy gifts anymore. So, Sarah Lee, you got it. To me, it's hard to, it gets harder to buy gifts lately because, you know, people mostly buy, buy something if they want it. If I can afford something I want, I buy it. Although there's a ton of stuff that I don't buy for myself because I just can't, um, you know, afford it or whatever. Um, so, all right. Okay, the next item is, now, the, there, there's some things on the problems with it, but I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't let this be. <laughs> um, it's got some, some, and I didn't get the barkeeper's friend out. I should have done that because it might get this right off, to be honest. It might get that right off. This is not Pyrex. This is not even glass bake. It's got number on a number on it. It's a one and a half quart. It's main US uh, ovenware. Let me show you that. And it's got that, you know, textured bottom. I think somebody had something like this before recently. But um, on the one side, it's like I said, it's got that little bit of issue. But on the other side, it's not as bad. And I just like that. I think it's a cute. Um, um, pattern for, thank you, Lisa, for like, I, I think it would look super cute. You put stones in the bottom and this would be great for some succulents. You know what I mean? You don't have to have a lot of, and it's the lower, it, this would be super cute for, and then you have this to the back. If, if you don't have, you know, this cleaned off or something. So Anyway, I, I'm keeping it cheap. Um, I mean, you could also use it to make meatloaf or bread, you know. <laughs> um, so it's uh, $6 and it's number 34. $6, number 34. I just think it would be so cute for, you know, a lot of people love that color. It's very kind of neutral nowadays, right? Lori, you got it. Well, I'll put that with your little heart basket. Where did I put that? I think it's right under that thing. Thank you, Lori. Okay. Oh, this next item. I, I'm pretty sure this is considered to be cut glass. It's um, triangle shape. It's starburst ashtray. It's got feet, which is great. <laughs> right? He love does sound good every now and then. Um, it's It's got feet, so that's always good, you know? Um now, like I said, this is an ashtray, but so what? You can use this as a candy dish. Give it a good wash. I mean, I wiped it up, but, you know, give it a nice wash. You can use it as a candy dish. There is one just like this that's a, that's a candy dish, but it doesn't have the little slots for the cigarettes. Um, you could use this as a, um, you know, like if you had a, um, a, a party and, you know, you had things with the little... Um, um, toothpicks, you could just have the dirty toothpick, use toothpicks go in here. Um, paintbrush holder, yes, anything. There's so many things. So yeah, this is just an awesome, and look at this with that. It does need to be given a good wash again. Um, with that burst on the bottom, and I love this one the best. Look at that design there. Oh, can you see that? What's the best place to put that against? Is not always my face. <laughs> Candy cigarettes. Yes, that's right, Stephanie. Hi, Julia. Yeah, I like this one right here. I don't know. It's just I just like this design. It's really neat. Anyhow, uh, this is $15 and it's number five. $15 and it's number five. Super groovy vintage. You know, back in the day, they all, 
Carol Verbeerstead is yours. Okay, you guys, the next item. Oh, yeah. Well, what can I tell you? It's one of my favorites. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of kidding, right? It's the double and triple tonguing exercises. 240 of them, to be exact. What? Now, this is an older version of this book. The newer version is apparently, I think, on Amazon, and it's got, like, purple dots on it. Okay. Oh, that's awesome, Margo. And, um, of course, it's got some writing in it. Not a lot, you know, but, I mean, I guess it's going to help you to do your tonguing, you know, if this is all. I don't know. Hey, Lori. Um, I don't know if Jamie is still here. She's our resident um, Roman numeral expert. And so, see, I do not know what that number is. Where is it? Right there. I don't know what that number is. But it doesn't matter. It's just great to make sure you're doing your double and triple tonguing properly. You know, because you want to exercise that. You do. So this book is going to be $8. And it's number 24. $8, number 24. You can't see it. I'm sorry. 240 double and triple tonguing exercises. <laughs> right. All right. Is uh is Joanne still here? Oh, you did. Is Joanne still here? Uh precious lavender buttons. Oh, yeah. I'm bad enough, right? I might wait and see if Joanne comes around if she's here. Um, I have this. Yeah, that is a huge accomplishment. I have this uh, hobnail milk glass vase. I just, I like the different ones. I, I like this. I'm so drawn to it. And then I start to put it out there and it doesn't work with everything else I have. And I have one other like piece behind me somewhere, but. It's in that pile somewhere. But, um, so I'm just going to sell this uh, for $8. I love it. I mean, it's just such a classic look. It really is. So $8 and it's number 26. $8, number 26. All right, Maria, you got it. Um, my next item is going to be an offer up. It is a United States Army um, like a stained glass piece. And it has a hole right here at the top. So you could, you know, hang it in the... Um, in the mirror, uh, mirror, in the window. Um, so I'm going to start this at fifth. No, wait. Yep. Starting at 15. So if you're interested, um, just start making offers from $15 and, um, and then we'll, uh, as it slows down, then we will, um, huh. 
Hi, Susan K. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. So you guys see the the um, it's gold, but then um, the the stained glass around it is red, and then in the middle is blue. There's blue right here. There's some blue in there um, with the red and the and I guess like it's white too with the eagle, and in the um, um, oh what do you call that? All right, so we got Mariah starting at fifteen. Mariah's at 15. So, um, and then it's also got this yellow, like in the wings, just a tad of yellow. I'm going to show you this side because then you can kind of see that, right? See that a little bit better. Oh, Debbie at 16, Mariah at 17. See right here is like the yellow and right here and right here. Just little bits. And then you got some more red up here. In the tiny little pieces of it, tiny little bits, and then you got that blue right there. Let's see, can you see? I don't know if you can, I don't know the best way to. Oh, here, wait, let me see if this will help. Does that help? I'm not sure if that helps. Mariah's at 20. I don't know if that helps or not. It might help if I turn it the other way too. I'm not sure. Sue is at 21. And you know, it's it's not plastic, okay? I mean, I kind of want to say it's brass. Because look at it. Okay, Debbie is out. Mariah's at 22. Hi, Rose. Mariah's at 22. So, yeah, it's really, I think it's really neat, especially if you have somebody in the army. Um, Sue is at 23. So I think it's between Mariah and Sue. And Sue is at 23 now. So you could just put like a piece of twine or, um, you know, like fishing twine or whatever. Oh. Sue's at 23. Mariah is out. So Sue is at 23. And unless anybody else is jumping in, I'm going to count it from five, four, three, two, and one. All right, Sue, you got it for $23. Thank you. All right. Joanne didn't come in, did she? Oh, that's sweet, Debbie. Um Okay. Oh yeah, I got this um Homer Laughlin syrup pitcher. Oh, Precious is here? Did you somebody say? Oh, no. <laughs> I see what you're doing. So it's got the Homer Laughlin little Floor Lee thing on there. It's in good, great condition. Um, oh, That's a little bit of a... Uh, it feels like a little bit of a flaw in the... Yeah, that's just one of those like little flaws. It's like a little bit of a rough spot. It's not a crack though. I don't think so anyway. So it's very nice. It's got a little bit of weight, but not terrible. Okay. 
It's great. It's, a, it's one of the syrup pitchers by Homer Laughlin. It's $15 and it's number four. $15, number four. Yeah, it's a little bigger than your little um, personal pitchers. It's a it's a basically a personal syrup. She doesn't come in this room, Sandra, because there's too much stuff in here right now. So, um, you know, when I get this all cleared out and I have, um, all the boxes from the Kelly sale in my living room. So yeah, it's kind of getting packed up in here. I kind of, I can't even, and then I have packing boxes. Like I've had to try to find, I've, uh, got a bunch of that bought and then I tried to get a lot of people to donate me some, um, like when they have used boxes and stuff. Uh, or, or shipping materials, then, um, you know, I try to, so I've had to bring them in because I need to use them. <laughs> so hopefully she'll get in the, in the, back in here one day. So, all right, nobody for this for 15. All right. All right. I have this even flow glass, um, baby bottle. <sighs> It's not old. I don't think it's, or, well, it's not vintage, let's say. See the, um, it's got that. The older ones, they even flow down the, down the front, you know. And this one's just, uh, like that. But it does say, caution, sudden temperature change may cause breakage. And I kind of think that's funny. So, I don't know. I, I, I find that funny, and I think that would be neat to, to use that side. And you can, like, kind of set it on the side Maybe put some at sand art in there or something, um, or something else that will make that funny. Um, that is going to be five dollars, and it's number eighteen. Five dollars, and it's number eighteen. <laughs> I doubt it. All right, next I have some um, cupcake picks for Valentine's Day. Here are, there are three of these. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I thought. And there are six of these, okay? Three of these and six of these. So these are more pinky looking. And then this is red with a pink arrow. Okay. So there's six of these, three of these. And the total is, it's going to be $5. It's going to be $5. <laughs> I do have a lot of people that do donate them to me. Teresa, I got you for the bottle. Thank you. But sometimes then they're like, okay, you need to come and get them now. <laughs> you know, and it's like, um, I don't know if I can do that right now. Sometimes I drive around with them in my car for weeks. <laughs> um, well, we'll see. Unfortunately, that, I, which I'm sad of because I really want to come so bad. It might get put off a little bit because, um, yeah, they're picks. They're like cupcake picks, I guess is how I think of them. There's three of these and there's six of these. Um, and they're, uh, $5. Um, he might be coming up here sooner rather than later. The dollar store I do get some from, but theirs are kind of sometimes crappy and, you know, so I do go to other places sometimes. Yeah, I do. Um, so, and then, you know, I also buy the good, buy some good ones from, from, uh, um, I 
Walmart. <laughs> yeah, it's five dollars for all nine. Oh, uh, number 14. I'm sorry. Number 14, because, you know, Valentine's. Come on. <laughs> Suzanne! Girl, hey! My, my uh, hero there. All right. Suzanne, you just sit in there quiet and then get it. Get it. I know. I know, Misty. Misty always tells me, get everything on Amazon. I got, and I got some really good prices for some stuff at Menards. So the prices were better at Menards than on um, Amazon for the. Uh, I, that's why I have everywhere you look. That's why I have um, bubble wrap right now. I have it in front of me. I have it underneath me. I have it behind me. I have it everywhere. Okay. All right. Um, All right, how about this little color of, um, for like a, a, hey Carrie, um, like for a candle. I know, I know, Pickled, I'm still not entirely sure. Yes, I still have a bunch of them from, from Lori too. Um, Pickled, I just don't know yet. I know I'm sad because I really uh, trust me. I'm like two. It's, I'm supposed to be coming in two weeks. I'm really. I mean, I really, really, really want to come. Either way, I'll be coming eventually. But I just might be coming with a one-way ticket and driving back on a U-Haul. I don't know yet, and I'm bummed because I really want. Like I, I was looking forward to coming down there for eleven days and like have a nice time and. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know right now. So the colors on this are so cool. And you can kind of see them on the inside too. But it's like a these turquoise and teal and gray and brown and like cream. Just, I love it. Looks like the inside of a rock or something. But with a little bit of watercolory egg dyeing or something. Know what I mean? Like strips of egg dyeing colors. I don't know. So, um, and it's lightweight. There's just this little, little lippy. Uh, now, this is probably from, I mean, this very likely is just from like Home Goods or something. Yeah. But I love it. It's really cool looking. I had it in my living room for a while. If you guys saw my tour, I said there's gonna be some things I put in my living room and I did my thing and I said some of the things that I have in my living room will be coming into the sale. So I'm gonna be doing that a little bit now and here and there, kind of show you where you can put things and stuff like that. So anyhow, um, this is $15 and it's number 39, $15 number 39. Thank you, Christy. And Christy, I have that other item for you on the side if you're interested in that. And it, I, I kept it and I don't mind doing that, you know. So, 39 goes to Rose. Well, Rose, that's gonna work out well because I still have stuff to send you, don't I? <laughs> I think I have one item to send you or something. I can't remember exactly. You know, my brain doesn't function like that. This is one of my favorite items in the sale today because I almost want to keep it, but I am not. So it is from um I I cleaned this out yesterday. What was that that just came out of it? 
I don't see anything, but I heard something. Um, it says Living Quarters Loft, made in China, but it's it's uh, distributed by Bonton Department Stores. It was forty dollars. Forty dollars, people. Oi, oi, oi. Well, I would not pay forty dollars for this, but it's super cool. I'd have probably paid twenty five. You know what I mean? But um, oh, that's what it was. It's a piece of of um wax there's a couple of, i tried to get those all out and it looks like it got wedged so see you could put a pillar candle in there but you could easily put you know like a um i have the pillar candles that light up on their own okay because i don't trust myself otherwise okay the ones that are three wick from bath and body are too too big for to fit in there but you could easily put like you know fairy lights yes or you could put um what do you call it um the just the tea lights in here too but i think like a cool pillar candle of some kind regular or um battery operated would be cool in here and i love the design on it very 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 very, very, very what you know what oh you know, you know, people. I know the lag. The lag really makes this not as fun <laughs> to say. <laughs> 20 minutes later, eight people say, ho. <laughs> I have those in my window right now, actually, Pat, in that like silvery um, turquoise -y look. And also people, hey, ho. <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyhow, this is going to be $18, $18, and it's number 23, number 23, $18, and I don't think, you know, it's probably like eight inches tall, no, maybe seven, I don't know. I love this thing. Um, also, if you guys did watch that video, I might be, yes, you could do that, Diana. Hi, Diana. Um, I might be selling some of that stuff, too. The, um, Mercury, the really cool, oh, that was from Bath and Body Works. That is so good. That big mercury glass um, looking candle thing. And then there's the, the turquoise one. They're both really good. If there's interest, I would be willing to put it in the sale. Um, okay, so nobody got that. All right, then. Uh, All right, how's about this? Is? Here we go. This is, oh, so cute. You guys, I don't do a ton of the baby ones, but I feel like a, lately I am because I find these really cute ones and I can't not get them. I just can't not get them. Look at that. Look at that cutie patootie. With this little, her little whatever, um, green um, overalls and a little mouse in the pocket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is uh, from Rubens Originals, made in Japan. It's got the sticker and this mark and the number all on the bottom. A lot of stuff happened in there. And the more things on the bottom to me that is makes it all the better because it's all still there, you know? So um, there was only, I think there was like a little, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this wasn't the one that had anything wrong with it. Um, well, the feet just have a little wear on the toes. Nothing major there. No, there's uh, just a little chip in the back you wouldn't even see. No, um, no, I think it's all good. All good. All good in the hood. I mean, it's so cute. See how big it is? 
Okay. So this is going to be $25 and it's number 10. $25, number 10. Isn't that adorable? Those ears. Oh, elephant's ears just get me. The bakery kind too. Mm -hmm. Next up, I have a little schnuda. This one's going to be an offer up because um, I could not find... You guys, there's something about the blue Puda schnudas that, like, they are, I guess, the hardest ones to find. This is going to start at 15, okay? This is... It has some something of a sticker still on it. But it also says on his tuchus, Flare 56. Look how cute he is. There are little, little spots of like, you know, where some of the paint maybe got knocked off. I don't know how to describe that. I cleaned him up pretty good. So if anybody's interested in start at 15 on this guy, he's about three inches tall, maybe. Maybe three and a half inches tall. He is adorable. Rose, hi. Hey, Sammy. Oh, no worries. Darn, darn day job. <laughs> so we've got Rose at 15. Oh, that's all right, Schnuda. Rose, you might get a really good deal today because uh, um, I don't see Randy here. Randy girl's not here. And uh, Poodle's out. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I'm I mean, I, I just, like, I'm not kidding. The prices on some of the blue ones, I was like, what? I mean, I get it for the, for the color pink because pink is my color. But, um, so, uh, Beth is at 17. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Look at the little pink tongue. Oh, he's just so cute, isn't he? He's just different because Rose is at 18. You know, a lot of times we see those chonky side eye ones that I love. But this one's so sweet. This is a sweet one. Yes. No, I've never seen the blue. I've never, no. Beth's at 20. Rose is at 21. Beth's at 24. Rose is at 25. And Beth is out. Got Rose at 25. And I, I should have been counting from 10, right? 10, not 5. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, Rose, you got it for 25. Thank you. All right. This cutie. Look at that big bow in the hair. That just gets me right there. That's what gets me right there. I mean, and the eyes. Look at the eyes are kept in like that. Okay, so those eyes are something there. Yeah, those are different because they're not like just the painted on eyes. So this is by Ardco, Com uh, Ardco Fine Quality Dallas, made in Japan. And then it also has Japan on it, and it's number C2330. Oh, 
And look at the cute flowers on it. I love that. Look at the cute little, oh, how did I not clean that little? That's funny. How, how do I miss like a whole spot? Well, it's off there now. It's such a cute little, I mean, it's like wearing a short sleeve sweater. Do you see this? And that like the planter is the sweater. I love that. And then her little, oh, her little bow is so cute. She is in fantastic condition. I mean, really good condition. She's got really good color. Oh, don't you? Yes, you do. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. That little, like, short sleeve sweater thing. I am dying. And those eyes. You guys, hi, Angela. Look at those eyes. That's like, ah, I love it. It's just so cute. These are like the eyes of a stuffed animal. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, so good. This is going to be $28, and it's number 15. $28, number 15. Oh, so good. So good. I know you guys are like thinking, but Michelle, where's our Avon? Bam. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. I am always going to have a piece of Avon in my Thursday sale. Promises that I need to try to keep. I mean, look at that. Isn't this the cutest thing? Yes. You can hang your little... Some people take their cats outside for a little walk. People across the street or catty, kitty, kitty corner, I call it. Catty corner. Some people say kitty corner. Uh -huh, no pun intended. She puts her, dog, her cat on a leash out in the front yard. <laughs> so you could put your little cat leash on here. Or just hang your coat on it or your purse. Or your belts, whatever, because you're a cat lady and you want it. You have to have it. So it's $12 and it's number 33. $12 and it's number 33. Oh, it's it's plastic. It's I mean it's ceramic. It's ceramic. I'm sorry. It's ceramic. I might I don't have very long nails right now. That doesn't help. <laughs> here, here we go. There. Yeah, so it's ceramic. It's $12. It's got two hooks. So cute. Oh, number 33. What is wrong with me? Number 33. I know those, those, uh, those vintage baby... Planters are just the best. And I mean, you don't have to put a plant in it. You can put all these baby things in there. You know? So cute. Wow. No, no cat ladies coming out for this. I'm shocked. It's okay. Okay. You guys, I have... I have to move this. I have what were um, a borderline pornography from what I was looking at. Last night, I was looking at these. I was like, what? I pulled up the, the, um, I pulled up the uh, photographer, I guess. And um, his name is um, R. Hendrickson. Well, I saw my share of boobs, is what I'll tell you right now. 
it was these old timey pictures and it was like a lot of TNA is that is that can you say that on YouTube yeah it was, there was some TNA in an old-fashioned sense but it was like <laughs> Um, this is the cleanest one because she still has clothes on. See, she's, she's just got her, like, um, her onesie. <laughs> see, this is when she was lacing up her shoes, her boots. And you see these like three of them for like $10 or something. Just these photographs. This is on a board. Okay. I should have measured it, but I did not. So this one is 14 by, I'm going to say 10, right? No, nope. 10 and three quarter. Oh, no. Nope. Just about 11. 11 by 14 for this one. If you collect this, this person, I mean, the artist or whatever you want to say, photographer. And then this is five by seven. Okay. This one's five by seven, and this one is eleven by fourteen, and um, and this is the cleanest one. I think there is also one of her. Um, uh, maybe with a towel around her. I can't remember if it's her. The other one, but she's like the blonde with the bun in her hair. I don't know how to describe all these women, but there were. Like, I'm telling you what, <laughs> there's some interesting photographs if you Google that, that photographer. Anyway, so um, I'm doing these together because I think that they're, yes, I, yeah, not naked, nude, right? It's art. It's They're nude. Um, so there's these two should be together, obviously. So, um, oh, that's interesting. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. But these are, these are a thing. There's like a ton of them on the internet. So um, for the two of these, it's going to be $25 and it's number eight. $25, number eight. I just like think you could like kind of like get a frame for this one. Yeah, well, frame for both of them and like do them together or something. Or you might even collect this, this photographer. Somebody you know might collect this photographer or want to start. Quite frankly, well, I guess Vinny only goes for like the, you know, glamorous pinups, but these were the OG <laughs> pinups, I would say. So, all right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. All right. Next up is this little McCoy teapot. Oh, can you see that? There. It says 7129 McCoy, um, USA. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, it's got a chip right here, but obviously you can turn that to the side or, you know, the back. This has a little bit of a chip. I don't really think you're, I mean, it's like not really noticeable, if you know what I mean. Anyhow, like I said, it has a little heft to it. There are two different shapes of this. This is the shorter, chunkier kind of one. It's got a rounder handle. The other one is a little more upright and like, like proper. <laughs> this is just so cute and chunky-ish. And um, it's got this great green color. And, you know, it's a teapot, right? Because it has this thing. I think that's one of the one of the things I've read or something. Also that it's short and stout, right? So you want to pour a tea. Hello. Hi, Mama's Treasures. Um, so yes, so this is, um, where is it? This is $18 and it's 
And it's number 36, $18, number 36. Beth, you got it. You guys, um, I hate to do this. I've been trying to hold it for like a whole page now. I can't anymore. I have to run to the bathroom. I'm trying to lose some weight, so I'm eating a little differently. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to go. <laughs> but this is going to be the next item. So I will. Oh, if you. Oh, my gosh. I hope you guys don't mind. I am very sorry to do this. And um, there you go. You can look at the next item. It's beautiful. It's teal. It's got a cool shape to it. It's glass. Right. And yes, I am wearing pajama pants today. <sighs> Sorry, you guys. <sighs> I am so sorry to have done that. And that is bad. Not even two hours, but it it like it it took over, <laughs> can I tell you? <sighs> okay. All right. Oh, hi, Slick, Vivian. Ha, 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 ha. 
You guys are so funny. You didn't really say anything terrible. You could have. I mean, you know. I love this color. This is your true teal. Do you see this? Oh, it's so good. This is so good. Actually, I should keep it for the, the, uh, oh, that would look really good, but I'm not. Uh, so this is uh, $15 and it's number 20. $15 and it's number 20. Hi, Mandy. Yeah, I change my pajamas when I go to bed, too. Of course, we all have that snow, you guys. And I saw uh, Julia say the same thing. Yeah, those feathers might be staying in that bottle because nobody's going to buy it. So, <laughs> I don't care. I, I mean, I don't, I care. Um, I don't know. It's got, I should have showed the bottom. I don't know what that means. 19231F. And then there's also a 5. So, I'm not necessarily, you know hip to the lingo. It looks like to me the kind of bottle that would have had a cork because see the there's no like proper groove. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So anyway there's that. Um Okay, this next item, you guys, it has a t tiny bit of damage, but first I'm just going to show it to you like this. I was going to keep this also, but I do not have as much wall space as I thought in here. Um, and also, yeah, I have to, um, I'm, um... Not necessarily uh, looking to downsize, but I might have to be, I might be, yeah, hey girl, well, not necessarily simplifying, but this is one of the things that I was keeping for myself and do you, Pat, do you want that bottle? I'm sorry. Oh, you do. Okay. I see you. Now I see you. Sorry about that, Pat. You got it. You got it. <clears throat> okay, so anyhow, I think this is super cool. I love the colors. I love that it looks like kind of like a Tanala. Okay, good, perfect. It looks like a Tanala bird, kind of, with the Mexican-looking, you know, art. Um, but now this is what I need to show you, is because this is like some kind of wood. Um, oh, what's that called? Not like a pressed wood, but yes. But whatever it's on, right here, it got a little bit of damage, and you can't even. Do you see what I'm saying? Like. You can't really, right here. If I hadn't shown you, I'll show you. It's just numbered or by size, 10 and a half, 14 and a quarter. So I don't know what it, I don't know on the inside. But to me, like somebody obviously framed, put this and it's done nicely. Cause look, it's on like with all this and stuff. See? It's this right on it. And this frame is like, um, I want to say it's like a dark green almost. It's almost like one of those colors that it blends. Like, so it, if you have green, it looks green. If you have, <laughs> I don't, you know what I mean? 
but I just think it's amazing. And I guess they said the uh, size is 10 and a half by 14 and a quarter. Let's just check their math, shall we? Okay, that would have been probably the size of the, yeah, that would have been the size of the actual um, print or whatever. So it's really about 15 and a half by 12 with the, with the um, you know, frame and such. So I just think it's beautiful. The colors are amazing. It is uh, $20 and it's number one. $20 and it's number one. I feel like, you know, that little bit of, I took a little money off because of the little bit. But like, honestly, I am telling you that if you were just looking at that on the wall, you don't see that. You see the, the, the amazing colors, the leaves, the colors, the bird, the flowers. The, the wings, the everything, you know, it's just so good. <laughs> there you go, Sharon. Yeah. Yes, it's definitely boho. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, okay. Hi, Debbie. Have some playing cards with snowmen in a little tin. They are from 2003, but they are um, brand new-ish, you know. Um, I mean, they're in good shape. The the um face cards have snow people on them that was the queen and then that's the king and then the jack has a little somebody on it yeah the little guy and the rest of them are just oh and these are the jokers oh this ace oh that's cool the ace of spades I don't think the other aces were, no, the other aces were not anything. And then these are the jokers. Right there, see. Who just came in? Uh, hi, Julie. Bleh, Judy. Hi, Judy. So these cards are super cool. And they are $8 for number 11. $8 number 11. Um, this next item, I had this recently. I'm it until Valentine's, I'm just gonna keep having it, I guess, because I just feel I can't believe nobody's bought it. It's a diary. It's only uh, five years old. It's from 2016 Scholastic. They probably sold it in, you know, um, a grade school or, yeah, grade school, you know, those book sales. And I left that all on there. It was $10. It has a lock and a key. Okay. I mean, I'm telling you, when I was a little girl and I had my diary, there was nothing better. I loved my diary. Think about you guys how you do journals. A little girl starts with a diary and with a lock and key. This is $8 and it's number 30. $8 number 30. And then it's got this on the back. Debbie Vital. Vital or Vital? Vitali? You tell me. Like, I'm thinking, like, Dick Vital. I don't know. Awesome. Now, speaking of lock and key, 
I got something with Lock and Noki. <laughs> um, or like Dick Vitale. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Somebody said something about scotch tins. Michelle, I'm waiting for you to downsize your scotch tins. Not going to happen. I still buy them. Even if I have the same ones. I don't know. I just buy them when I see them. Um, you guys, yesterday, or like last night, this morning, whatever, I was cleaning this guy up because he was a little dirty and this cage was a little dirty. And um, I locked him in his cage. <laughs> I locked it. I didn't mean to lock it. And I did. I just did. So, and I kept thinking, well, there's, it's, you know, it has a little thing for a key. And then I'm like, maybe I didn't do this hard enough. I was like, if I push it, does it just undo it? Is it just a toy? You know what I mean? And no, I cannot. I have locked it. So, I mean, if you want to use it for a uh, you could still put your money in there. And <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, then if you really want that money, you're going to have to, like, probably use, like, a, you know, back in the day they would have said use a hairpin. Use a bobby pin or a sewing needle or I don't know what. Um, yeah. So it says, please feed the anim animals regularly. Not, do not. Yes, he does have a chip on his ear. Mike Tyson got a hold of him. He has a few chips, okay? He, but they're clean now because I cleaned them off good. So this is, uh, this is a chip there. There's a little chip there on there because that's where it rests on the back of there. You can see that's like that goes, that's from being banging up against there. And then this was from banging up on that side. You can see, you can see where the marks were. So see, and then the ear, see that ear too, from banging against there. This one, if he slides over, then that's where he is banging that ear. See, so that's where, do you see all the little scuff marks on his face? If he has any, that's. You know, that's where all the little scuff marks are where that makes contact. So it's still cool. It's like one of those plaster um, banks, you know, like chalkware. Um, and he's so cute. He uh, he has a stopper on the bottom if it matters. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's made in Taiwan for Interpure. Interpure. Okay, so. <laughs> I mean, I think it's so funny, but he's a little banged up, but now he's locked in, but I'll save you some money. He's $12, and he's number 17. $12 is really good, actually, for this throwback. His eyes are... They're not... I don't think they, yeah, they do move. They, he does have googly eyes. So anyhow, he's super cute. Hi, Kathy. What is Bella doing? She's sleeping or dreaming or what? Right, Diane? Mm -hmm. Tiger. Oh, oh, I didn't even think about that. See, Tiger. Oh, that's awesome. Tiger Purple gets it. I'm always thinking about purple things. And then here. Oh, and I do have something else that this will be going out with. Yeah, because I am going to get caught up. So, um, yeah, this, I buy these every time I see them, if the price is right. I have a bunch of them hanging outside, but, um, I might not be in this house forever. 
all I'm saying. And so um, I decided to to sell this one. And it doesn't have the door on it. Like a, a lot of them have the door. I don't know if it, this one had a door. And I can't remember if this was World Market or Pier 1. But um, I just love it. And you put a, a, a tea light. I put the fake one in there. Um, and this is just, uh, I love it. It's, um, are there any questions in there? Oh, hi, Diana. <laughs> Swagger. Yeah, oh, you're the best. Oh, hi Joyce. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Margo. Um, so I just I like this so much. I always love stars, but then I love this. I have these little things in my kitchen, in my kitchen, Lord, in my bathroom too. I have little candle things, and like I said, I have a lot of these hanging outside, like three or four of them. So um, this you could hang in your house too. They have some that have a stand on them, too. You'll see every now and then. So, um, anyhow, this is super cool. It's $12, and it's number 37. $12, number 37. Mm -hmm. Aging beginner, you got it. Hey, Jewel T. Were you here the whole time, Jewel? Jules, were you here the whole time? I know you are here earlier. I don't know if you were here the whole time, though. Uh, hey, is that vintage conversation? Is that Martha? Oh, what is my problem? Is it Martha or is it... Yes, off and on. Headphone, Aaron. Okay. And conversation. Yes. Okay, cool. I thought so. Okay. What is this? Oh, this little scooper. Got this little wicker scoop. I think this will be cool for, like, um, air plants, honestly. And I'm leaving this little wire on here because somebody has done a good job, actually. Of putting something on there to make it hang and um, this is so perfect for an air plant because it's not your regular vessel you know what I'm saying so um it would just be cute because you could hang it on the wall and then there you go or even those fake like string of pearls hanging out of there super cool um and girl stay here cuz Joanne I've been holding off on something to show you um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think this did have a, um, like a, um, a flower arrangement in it. So, yeah. Um, this is $6 and it's number 12. $6, number 12. I have, you know, I didn't write that down. That's funny. Um, I, I have something else. I don't know if I didn't write it down or if I missed it. Yeah, an assemblage would be cute in there. Um, okay, so I have these derby clowns. They are cake decorations. There are six of them inside here. They're happy clowns, though. Sorry, Misty. I had to. I mean, sometimes I just have to. I'm always thinking about my precious and other people that do like clowns. I forget. Does Sue? No, I'm not sure. Um, but anyhow, so three of them are red and three of them are blue. And they're $8. And they're number 13. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I mean, I'm not crazy about clowns no matter what, but these are picks or like decorations, you know? I think they'd look cute just like in a bowl, but. Okay, you got them, Joanne. I, I, I just am like, you know, if I can hold off on showing them until she's around, then that's what I like to do. Not that you are ever obligated to buy them, but you know how I do for you. Um, okay, next up is another classic, Summer of 42. Oh, yeah. Didn't we all, didn't we all watch this? What, who played, um, was that Sybil Shepherd in the TV movie or whatever? Who was it? No, it was Di, oh, Diane. Oh, what, well, who was it? Um, oh, who played her? No, Diane, no. What was her name? Jennifer O'Neill? Was it Jennifer O'Neill? Come on, somebody's got to know. Did Jennifer O'Neill play her in the TV movie or whatever? Doesn't anybody remember? Uh-huh. I think so, too. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I thought so. Anyhow, oh, yes. This is nice. Oh, it belonged to Cindy Weber. So, um... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a nice, um, you know, um... Rite of passage, sort of, oh yeah, uh, sort of, you know, novel. And uh, a lot of you may recall it fondly. And um, it's not as big as the belly of the dolls. <laughs> now I want to go watch it. <laughs> anyway, uh, the book is $6.00. And it's number 22. $6, number 22. Okay, you guys. I have had this a while. And you know, I love finding these. Okay. This is the smaller one. I love finding these. They're so cool. And I'm at some point I might start keeping some of them. I don't know. Now I probably won't ever find them again. Anyway, I keep meaning to this one has I mean this is the, the Belgium, you know, this is the real deal. And somebody put a candle in here, okay? Hmm. Anyhow. Um I wanted to try to get the candle out, but you guys, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just keep not doing it, and then I keep seeing it, and then I keep not doing it, and then I keep seeing it, and I'm like, screw it. Laura! Laura, Vintage Thrifted Treasures made me the cutest little cross-stitch thing with my name on it and cherries. Oh, I, I mean, Laura, I died. There, are, I love it so much. Um, I do not know. I think somebody did this on their own. So, um, uh, Sandy, if you, um, are interested in the item when I say the number, yeah, you have to be um, the first one to claim it. Now, this can get confusing sometimes because there at the top it says live chat and sometimes it says top chat. You will always want to be in live chat. Okay. Now also, your personal internet speed has a lot to do with whether you are going to get the purchase power. Um, we all look like we won on our own feed okay i mean trust me i have sometimes i'm like 
No. Uh, no, 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 not this time. This time it, I for real got number. I know I was first. And I'm like the eighth one out of eight. <laughs> okay. So you always will look first on your own feed. But um, but sometimes you are going to win. Just be ready to get them numbers in it and see hit send if you like something. Okay. And then if you get it, you won the purchase power. It does. It happens to all of us. Yes. All right. So, yes, you put them in the, yes, there's a whole process to getting the can, the, hey, neighbor, to getting a candle out. You guys, it's just a matter of time and everything. And I just don't have the time for it. Okay. Thanks, Joanne. I think I do all right. <laughs> So, um, you guys, I just, I just decided, screw it. Sell it with the dang candle in it. You know what? Well, cause I, I, I always call it purchase power because you don't win it. You know what I mean? You know, you, you might claim it. You didn't win it though. Cause you still have to pay for it and you pay for the shipping also. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just always don't like the word win for certain things, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Candle. It's not going to... I'll be honest. It would, I would... This would not be a candle I would buy. I think, though, you could probably drop some essential oils in there. I think. To make it smell like you would want it to. And let's face it, you could just do that whole thing and get it out of there if that's what you want to do. I just don't have time. Uh. Anyway, I love this so much. It is $15 and it's number seven. $15, number seven. And yes, like I said, it's the Belgian, Belgian one. You know, I love these things. Uh, you can't see it. Trust me. If you can't trust me, who can you trust? That should be on a shirt. <laughs> Bobby Marcantonio. You got it, girl. Have you been here this whole time? Some of you guys, I'm telling you what, you're so good at being quiet. <laughs> I am not. Um, Let me, there are two things that I didn't even... No wonder I was having a hard time last night because I was like, kept thinking I hadn't, didn't have enough items. So, um, now I have to add these two because I have them here and I'm not going to wait on them. So, um, I think the thing is that I wasn't sure about pricing. So one of these is going to be an offer up. And then the other one, I'll just nail a price on it. So I'm going to do an offer up on this next item because it's awesome. I have Tim Holtz fabric. Yes, when I bought it, I didn't know because I didn't look at it because I was like, it's just awesome. And I knew that and I grabbed it. Well, it, the fab, the, it, I would have looked at it when I pulled it out. I would have noticed it because also it's on the... What do you call this? The seam edge or something? Um, it says eclectic, ec eclectic, I can't talk, eclectic elements, Tim Holtz, wallflower, PTWTH028, botanical. And let me just tell you, salvage edge. Yes, thank you. You guys. If you love fabric and you love Tim Holtz, oh, this stuff is good. And I, I thought I wrote this down. It was, I did write it down, didn't I? Gosh. I guess I didn't. It was like 44 inches. By like 72 inches. It was two yards. So let me just show you. Oh, it's just 
I'm not going to pull it all the way open. I'll show you one side and then I'll show you the other side. Is that all right? Um, wait, what? Carol, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Back up the truck. Carol, what are you talking about pigeon racing? My grandpa raced and raised pigeons. Raised and raised pigeons. He was like the ishnit in Milwaukee. I know I have your address. I have to look at where you're from. Like, I, I think I need to know right now. <laughs> is it S-E-L or is it Salvage Edge? No, I'm not. I'm Polish. Oh, you're in Michigan. Well, yeah, and I'm in Wisconsin, so maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, my grandpa was the bomb diggity in, um, mm -hmm. that's cool. That's very cool. A lot of people look at me like I'm weird when I say that, but okay, you guys, so I don't even know where to start. Ah! Is anybody even interested in this stuff? Okay, so this is, um, gonna, we're gonna start, I'm gonna start at, um, $15. Start at $15 for this fabric. It is 44 inches across. Okay. It's, this is like 22 or whatever. It's like 42 inches across because I, I have, it's folded. Okay. And then, um, I'm, it, it's two yards. So I'm going to show one side and then I'll show the other. You guys, it's so gorgeous. It's got the botanicals. It's got the I love it when there's like a postmark or something like that with the stamps. It's got the letters. It's got numbers. It's got writing. It's got butterflies. It's got leaves and flowers, you know, because that's the botanicals of it. It says, it says, uh, Cirages Liquides. I don't even know what that means. Noir à déformer en poudre. Lord. I know um, Melissa is probably like dying because I'm hacking that language up. Okay, so that was that side. Now I'm going to show you the other side. It's probably a lot of the same, right? Oh, look at that. Look at it. Oh, it it's like, it's like ephemera on fabric okay oh it's all you guys can see this right oh my gosh so good it would oh yeah or pillows oh so good okay so i've got sarah i got debbie vital at 18 this stuff is i mean it's it's pristine. It's so good. And you know, the colors, you can see these colors, right? It's like got your greens and your peach and your yellow and your um, tans. You're kind of like earthy colors, but in a like, not in a heavy kind of sense way. Oh, these, I, the, here's my, I just like love that right there. Um, right there. Oh yeah. trying to fold it where it was folded already um yeah I mean I guess you could say shabby chic to me Tim Holtz is his own thing it, Tim Holtz is just like it's more like almost steampunk but not steampunk um Tim Holtz is just the best I just love him so much he's just an amazing talent yeah, it's botanical. Oh, you're in Hi K baby. I'm in Menominee Falls. But um I I uh I am way overdue for a trip to the uh bins. So because I need to load up. So 
and also that way there's some other things I got to do that way too. So, huh. Yeah, textiles are the... Steampunk is, well, steampunk is, oh gosh, it's just... Yeah, it is very expensive per yard. And this is two yards. Um, De Debbie, is at 20? Steampunk, how do I describe it? It can be a little bit industrial, um, a little bit quirky. Yeah, a little bit Victorian, a little bit sci-fi, a little bit... Um, hey, uh, uh, Lori's at 30, 21. Lori Blue Flamingo is at 21. Um, you know, it can have feminine and masculine kind of stuff in it. Um, modern industrial version of Victorian. That's a great way of putting it. <laughs> well, thank you for letting us know that, Sarah Lee. That's awesome. Yes, mechanical. That's the other word I keep forgetting, and which I love the mechanical, like gears and stuff. They had a steampunk like uh, competition show years ago. It was really cool. Debbie is at twenty two. Um. Debbie's at twenty two. Amy is out. Lori's at 23. I should keep this up here, right? And it's two yards. You lived there when you were young in the falls? Really? That's crazy. I lived in uh, Milwaukee uh, growing up, and then I've lived in L.A. and Nashville, so... Um, it's vintage looking, but it's not, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's new. It's never been used, obviously, but, um, I don't know how old of a fabric this is. Like if it's fair, still available, um, because you look stuff up and it says vintage and I don't necessarily believe that, you know what I mean? So, um, it could be, and, and what people call vintage is, you know, that's a, Another whole nother thing. <laughs> so Lori is out. So it looks like Debbie is going to win it. Debbie at 24. Yeah. Debbie. At, yeah, probably not like available. Right. So, you know, hard to find. HTF. <laughs> Debbie Vita Vita. Debbie Vitel. Debbie Vitel. <laughs> now I want a cannoli. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, you guys. I was watching uh, Crazy for Retro and OMG. I watched an ad like they had to have cashed in on me because it was for Gold Belly, I think. But it was this... Ferrara's Bakery. Did anybody else see this at, on anybody else's videos where they were making cannoli? No, Debbie. Oh, I love cannoli so much. I love it. And it doesn't even have to be like the chocolate covered kind. I like them all. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, Lordy. Let me write this down before I forget it. Debbie, my pal. <laughs> you got it for $24. Great deal. Thank you so much. Awesome. I can't wait to hear see what you do with this. Next, I, what? What? You make it too? What the heck are you doing, all you people? Too many good things that I don't know about. All right, this is out of my personal collection. Like I said, I'm parting with it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not Italian. I mean, I, you know, dated an Italian guy even many years ago when I lived in L.A. <laughs> That's as close as I got. <laughs> Marco, his name was, and he always called me Michel. <laughs> so I was much younger and less of me. 
So this is a uh, um, Ray Dunn. This is an actual paper label. This was from a few years ago. I can't remember. I want it's 2018. Yeah. 2018. It is mm, pumpkin spice, brand new, never been burned. It's got the ray down there. It's got the ray down there. And it's got your information down there. You don't know what a cannoli is? Oh. Uh, it's a little, like, delicious shell filled with a rocotta cheese mixed with sugars of different kinds. People use different sugars. Some people use a fine sugar. Some people use a um, powder sugar. And then teeny little chocolate chips in it sometimes. And then the candied cherries. Oh, I want so bad. <laughs> we do have Nino's Italian Bakery, but I, and I've gotten them from there before. But um, anyway, this is family on the label, and obviously, then if you don't want to, I mean, I just had this on the shelf by my pictures with me and my kids and stuff. So um, I'm parting with it, and it is pumpkin spice. It's going to be fifteen dollars. And it's number 21. $15, number 21 for the Ray Dunn Family Pumpkin Spice Candle. Jewel tea! You got it. Awesome. All right. How's about a little cow? How now, blue cow? <laughs> I don't know anything about this little guy. He's just adorable. His tail is so cute. Look at his tail. And then it like blends in with his spots. <laughs> what did that say? Hey, oh, hey, Nate, baby. Hi, Virginia. Yeah, you know I go probably at least three hours, and I I only have like forty some items. I I had forty. Actually, I think it ends up being like forty three, because I think I forgot to write down some of them. So, anyhow, and then he's got a little little leaf in his mouth or something. He's getting a little piece of the flat forest or something. Oh, I love me some candles too. I know. So anyhow, this little guy, oh, isn't he just adorable? Look at his tail. <laughs> so this little guy is $8 and he's number 35, $8 number 35. Isn't he adorable? You got him, let up, precious. Precious and few. I gotta stop doing that. Okay. Okay. Next. Oh, no, no. I forgot this one. Um, I can't believe I didn't write this one down either. This is, this I found, I got these, I don't know where, in this box. I wanted this box. I think I bought this box at a, an estate sale. It just says Boston Store, which is a local store that no longer exists. So I'm keeping the box. Um, but, and then these were wrapped in um, paper towel and some of the original bubble wrap is my guess. Um, and they are Beacon Hill Ink, which is out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And they are um, these wooden candlestick holders. And it does tell you to, um, pres to preserve the beauty and fine finish of this wood. Do not burn candle below one inch from bottom. 
So, you know, it's good to have those directions. So, aren't they, aren't they nice? Just, they're classic wood. They're, they're good. They're good. Um, and then they have these stickers. I didn't, I don't take off the stickers and stuff like that from original places. So, I think they're, <laughs> I saw some other things from Be Beacon Hill or whatever. I don't know. But I'm just going to do these for 10. I think my mom watched that. So these are going to be $10. And they are number 19. $10, number 19. My pen go. There it is. All right, Carol, you got them. Okay. And then the last round one item <laughs> is this amazing elephant planter. <laughs> you get to see part two tomorrow, Nancy. Uh, it's not looking so good right now, but every day, you know, because then I got it organized to what will work for me. But I know I'm going to, um, I got this other thing that I have to bring in. So then it's probably going to end up being um, uh, like a, not a part three, but a part, yeah, part three, maybe. I don't even know. I don't know. But isn't this cool? It doesn't have, I don't know, any maker on this at all. It feels like bisque. The the bare parts feel like bisque to me. So, and then there's this nice glaze, okay? So, I just love it with the elephants. But then here's the other part. I have no idea what this says. It got to a point last night, this morning... That I was like, oh, sorry, Suze. Um, that I, I don't, I, I was going to, I tried to look up the Asian alphabet and then it all just started looking the same to me. I have no flipping clue, no clue whatsoever. I mean, my guess would be that it says something like, um, you know, love and joy and, and family and, and prosperity. I don't know. So there, that's, I just made it up, <laughs> but that's the cutest part. And see the, the, um, this is how I used to have it is I had those, I don't think I can, well, I had these in there. <sighs> and um, you guys might recall this from a different video that, that I had these in there. And then I, I just kind of have them hanging out of either side. So, like, I mean, I think I, I might have... Um, had them like bunched up a little better so that there was more of a less of a gap there but but I, these are expensive so I'm not selling it with those <laughs> these I gotta keep in case I want to use them again I got like four chunks of them here that I have um so this is and I forgot it's 14 and a half inches long and it's like six inches across here. Okay. Um, I'm going to do an offer up on this. Okay. Starting at $15. I should have said that right away. We're going to start at $15 if anyone's interested. Um, just start going up from there. And this is just a super cool. The glaze. Oh, and then the, like, do you see that design? 
it's a little, I don't know, it's like, it, it almost gave me a little bit of a Greek key, but it's not. Like, then, do you see that? It's almost like, oh gosh, I don't know. It's just neat. And then it fades a little bit, but then it goes all the way around, you see. And it's not... Oh, neat. Um... Yeah, I, I had it turned away from this, because I don't know what that says anyway. But I had it because I loved the elephants. So uh, now we've got Carol at 20. It's just adorable with the baby. Come on, you can't even. And then it's like, so see how the glaze, like see that glaze on the inside? How it's like that brown drip kind of thing? So I, and I am so not like versed in all that stuff. But this is like, um... The, the glaze is really soft. And oh, there's no chips or cracks to my to my eye anyway. I, I, this thing is great. And it, you know, it's got a little weight, but it's not heavier than that, I don't think, that ball. Um, and like I said, it feels like a little bisky. You know, I don't know what the right word is for that. It's probably not bisque, but, oh, oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Rachel. And it's totally okay. I had totally, like, the calendar got caught up on me. I was doing a, doing organizing, and I was like, oh, my gosh, my sale with, with tomorrow is with, so I was like, oh, no. And so it was fine either way, but you know, I love you, girl, and I'm here for you whenever. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. So, okay, where were we on here? I'm sorry. I think we got Carol at 20. Sue's uh, was at 19. Carol was at 20. Sue's, are you still in or? Yeah, I mean, definitely you could use it for, you know, plants. You're out, Sue's, okay. You could use it for plants. You could use it, do what I did with those. Um, you could have like, you know, fabric, like balls, like rolled in fabric. If you had it in the bathroom, you could have towels in here. This thing's pretty big, so. Substantial. Okay, so I think we have Carol at 20. And I'm going to count it down from 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carol, you get this at $20. Okay. Where did the hair go? Okay, you guys. Um, who is interested in whatever I didn't sell on round one? Thank you, Margo. Is anybody interested in it? Bananas. Bananas would be good in there. Yes. Lots of bananas. Usually everybody wants to see what they missed. I'm interested in so miss. Okay. I, I will absolutely. So the first thing is this um, throwback book, Valley of the Dolls. Oh, yeah. Valley of the Dolls. Some of you will recall this book. Uh, maybe not fondly, but as a, like, you know, maybe you snuck it. 
yes, it's a definitely a classic. So um, maybe you snuck it behind your reading, you know, in, like I did with my Jackie Collins books when I was in high school. I was reading Chances in Accounting. I had that big old accounting book up and I had my Chances book inside. And, uh, you know. Um, oh, what, 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 what? Miriam pretended surprise. Tony looked frightened. It's nothing, Jen, he said. Miriam and her crazy ideas. Just because I clown around with Betsy. You know, she's the redhead on my radio show in the singing group. We clown around, that's all. Some clowning around, Miriam snapped. Three afternoons a week, he bangs her in his studio dressing room. He may not be using rubbers on you, Jennifer, but I buy him a box every week and he keeps running out. Now look what you've done, Tony whined as Jennifer tore out of the room. Look, make her get rid of that kid. You listen to me, Tony. It's no good for your career. There's plenty of doctors who can do it. I want it, he said stubbornly. Tony, she was wheedling now. Think of your screen image. A, a young, handsome, leading man. The studio is going to say that you're only 24. A kid would hurt the image. Nuts! Sinatra has kids. So does Crosby. You're not going to take it away from us. He ran up the stairs after Jennifer. She was stretched across the bed, sobbing when he entered the room. Honey, he sat down and began to rub her neck. Don't mind what Miriam said. We'll have our baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know. Oh, we know. Hey, Tony. Um, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> um, oh, you sure did, girl. Because I did not read from it before. So this is $6 if you want to know. Oh, Six dollars and you can find out. Six dollars for number 40, The Valley of the Dolls. Jacqueline Suzanne, classic. Yeah. Yes, Sharon Tate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> The whole oh, this was before that. They sure talk about the rubbers a lot. <laughs> oh, golly. I'm trying to look for a dirty part, but I don't know. Oh, I saw the word boobs. He was stunned when he saw my boobs. He had always thought they had were padded. <laughs> Nobody? Hello? Nobody? Nobody? I'm going to end up reading this. Six dollars, number 40. Six dollars, number 40. Nope. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Nobody bought these laying note cards of me and Misty. Well, what the, what the actual... These are, this is brand new. These are Lang. These are brand new. There's 13 note cards and envelopes. You could buy them as a gift even um, because they're, it's a, it's like brand new. There's me and Misty walking in the water, with the house in the background. Then that's what the house, that's the note card is the house. And it's from Lang Company. And that's $10. And it's 13 cards and envelopes. It's $10, number two. $10, number two. Oh, the artist is, um, well, it says something like Lumiere or something. 
Artwork by Lowell Lowell Herrero. Lowell Herrero. <laughs> Not on here, they aren't. <laughs> Jewel, you got them. Jewels. Okay. And then there's the groovy I'm Peachy denim patch. I'm Peachy. $8, number 31. $8, number 31. Oh, okay. Interesting, Nancy. I know, isn't it? Okay. Did everybody remember to do their tonguing exercises? Okay, Donna, you got that patch. I love that thing. Donna Carter, right? Carter, yes. Did you guys do your tonguing exercises? Double or triple? I don't know when this is from because it's um it's um Roman numerals, but there are some, you know, handwritten, like, there's a lot of things circled here. And then, um, I don't know if there's anything like really written down in it other than those, um, you know, those marks. So, um, wow, they start double tonguing young. Many grade three, four, five, or six solos require double tonguing. You may obtain the name of some of these names of some of these solos from your music teacher or by consulting your state music manual. Many of the local stores, music stores, also carry a number of solos which require double tonguing. Hmm. It's interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Triple tonguing. That's right. That's right. Two, two, coup. Two, two, coup. Two, two, two. Two, two, coup. Two, two, coup. Two, two, coup. Two, two, coup. Okay, so somebody either buys this or I lose my mind doing these exercises. It is for a uh, cornet trumpet baritone TC. Ah, Amanda, please stop. <laughs> it's like all I'm doing is reading a, a music book. I'm not reading Valley of the Freaking Dolls, people. <laughs> oh, heavens. I will. Uh, I'm going to knock a couple dollars off. Why not? We'll knock this down to six instead of eight. How about six dollars on this? And. Number 24. $6, number 24. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. That's awesome, Nancy. <laughs> uh, I know, right? Mm. Okay, I still have the syrup pitcher. It's uh, Homer Laughlin. perfect condition it's got this little like flea bite i guess right <laughs> i know amanda right oh yeah yeah i could probably read that book on um live on instagram i wouldn't get booted there you can do anything on instagram right that'd be fun so this is 15 dollars for the homer laughlin syrup pitcher $15, number four. 15 for number four. This is a little bigger than the little personal pictures, 
but it's the same sort of thing. Yeah, that's Homer Laughlin. Yes. There are some things I remember, and then there's some things I can't, I don't know, to save my life. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. We might have some hot and heavy reading corner. It'll be like, um, like, uh, where you have like the, like, black light going and, you know. Meow, chicka, meow, meow. <laughs> Everybody lay back and take a listen to the great sounds of Valley of the Dolls as read by Comfy Cozy Living. <laughs> that would leave me exhausted. I can't even read it without getting... <laughs> I don't know how I would do it. I mean, could you see me with it? I'd be like, tut, tut, tut. <laughs> does anybody have a trumpet? Oh my gosh. My bestie son used to play it. He used to play the trumpet. I might have to ask if I can get my hands on it. I'll do it for the, I'll do some double and triple tonguing for you guys. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so nobody, nobody for number four. <laughs> Instead of pour some syrup and pour some sugar on me, pour some syrup on me. <laughs> oh, Mila. oh, Mila. I said it. I said syrup. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, nobody bought my favorite thing in the sale. It's this candle thing. It was from the Bonton stores. It was forty frigging dollars. <laughs> My sales always take a turn, Amanda. Oh Lord, yes they do. <laughs> always, oh, always. Anyhow, it would be great for a pillar candle. You could still put, um, uh. You know, tea light. I can never think of that word. A tea light candle in there. But I definitely think the pillar candle would look super cool in here. Whether it's a real one, you know, light it. Or it, if it would be a um, a battery operated one. Would look so cool in here. This decor. this The shapes that would come out of the light. Oh, I love that. Love it. And um, this is... 18, I will do 15. See, I'm, I'm generous today. I'm generous. $15, number 23. $15, number 23. Oh, stupid meetings. <laughs> Debbie Vitale, you got it. Okay, next up is, oh, this cute little precious, he's so sweet, he, she, it, I don't know, it's just adorable, it's a Rubens, so it's Rubens Originals. Los Angeles, made in Japan, 3314A, and then it's got the the um, the R, you know, the Rubens R, even though it looks like a Q, but it's an R in Japan. I love all that on the bottom like that. I think it's cool. But um, it's in really good condition. This is something that you do not have to use as a planter. You could... Excuse me. You can roll up some little um, um, washcloths. Or I'm trying to think of something taller. I don't know what kind of taller, longer things you use in a baby room. It's been 
a while since I had a baby. Um, but you know, I just think that something that it would look so cute. I mean, you can also do a little plant thing, whatever. It's got the little mouse coming out of his pocket. What? He's so cute. I love that pink. This is $25 and it's number 10. $25, number 10. Oh yeah, for sure. If you, if you want to use it in another room, then yes, definitely stuff like that. I could do totally see. Make makeup brushes more than the, because I don't know if it would hold too much without falling over as far as spoons and stuff go. Because, you know, it's, it's um, not the very thickest of the ceramic, but it's so cute. Laurie, where are we? Hugs, girl, hugs. Oh, how are you? Lori Wortley comes in and gets it. What have you been up to? I hope you're well. Hope you haven't had any um, crochet hooks. That's a good one. Paint brushes, obviously, for Kim. Doing better. Well, that's awesome. I, would think, I think about you. You wouldn't even know. I think about you a lot. Um, then we got this little guy. Girl, she's so cute. Her bow is my favorite part. I'm, I guess I'm all about the accessories. No, it's not my favorite part because my favorite part is her little short sleeved flowery sweater. Isn't that the cutest thing? Send that planter to Sam at Thrift U. Sam or Sarah? I thought Sarah was the one that. You got it, girl. You missed this one, though, Lori. What? All right. It is Sam. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was Sarah. I like them, but I don't... I mean, I love a lot of them, but I don't love all... I don't know what I... You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I know that. Oh, did somebody else ask? An elephant canoe. <laughs> Anyhow, I just love this little, the little sweater with the flowers. Isn't that adorable? And it's like scallop down there. Look at how precious this is. And it's the, it's the thing. And then it has a little collar. Oh, oh. and then look at the eyes. They're like stuffed animal eyes. See, they're like on there. They're not like your regular painted on eyes. Look how cute they are. Yes. Huh. Yeah, this one is um, Ardco. Ardco. I had a really good Napco one a couple weeks ago that had the pinwheel. Oh, my gosh. That was more than a couple weeks ago, I think. I don't know. That was so good. Look at those eyes. So cute. $28, number 15. $28, number 15. These colors are so good. Thank you, Debbie. Make sure you... Debbie, I don't know if I've had your... If, if I've ever sold to you before. Oh, you know you want it, uh, Lori. Lori, looking deep into my eyes. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, Karen Dondelinger. Hey, girl. Okay, cat women. Your second chance. This is, of course, Avon calling. Woo! Because I'm always going to bring a piece of Avon to this sale. Um, Sarah Lee, I have you. I have your information. I do not need yours. I just don't remember if I have Debbie Vitales. I don't, I don't know. You know, because sometimes people get us mixed up. Hey, Helen! Sometimes, um, 
I have you right here, uh, Miss Seattle. Um, I need a new address book. I need a huge one. Um, but Debbie Vitale, I don't know. Let me look under V because, oh no, I don't even have room under V. So she would have been in the back here. See, that's the thing now. I'm like, I don't have everybody under their letters because I ran out of room. And now I don't even have room. And now I've had to add pieces of paper. <sighs> so, um, Debbie, I don't, I don't think I have you. So, yeah, please just send it to me. I know, yeah, and a lot of times if I don't have somebody's information, I do ask um, my girl, um, Misty. So, um, no, you don't have to do that because I can always check with Misty. So, no need to get more hands in the cookie jar. Um, so, here is for my plant, my cat ladies. I was going to say plant ladies. I would love to come to your house and just clean it out with you. At least take some of those things off your hands, <laughs> Nancy. Anyway, look at the kitty cats. You can hang your purse, your belts, your coat, whatever. And this is um, ceramic, and it's $12, number 33, number 33. Oh, of course. Now I'm going to have mild, or not mild, what's the word? Soft porn pictures. <laughs> um, you guys, this photographer has done some old time porn, I'm telling you. Because last night I was like, what now am I looking at? Okay, so I looked up Mr. R. Hendrickson, and she is the most dressed of all his subjects, I would say. Um, she's got a onesie, a onesie on, it looks like. She's getting her bath ready there. She's going to probably have like a little sponge bath. And I think there is a photograph of her doing that too, but I don't have it. Now this is on a uh, board, okay? Did I write down the size of this? Nope, I sure didn't. Of course not. Of course not. This is 14 by 10, 11, 10, 11. 14 by 11. And then, um, and this is like five by seven. This one is uh, just, you know, both of them need to be framed, I guess. This one could just be propped. So could this one, really. Um, they go together because this is her getting her clothes back on, right, after her bath. Or, yeah, I think she's getting dressed after her bath. But it could be she's getting undressed. I don't know. What do I know? Probably getting undressed because the ones I looked at was a lot of nudity. Really. I saw a lot of boobies and booties. So, um, but it's art. It is art. And I think these look cool together because, you know, it's her. So if you are one of the, a collector of this particular photographer, or if you are just, you know, like some, it's kind of like old time looking because of, you know, the sepia tones and stuff. I think they're probably from the seventies. I don't know. Maybe they go back further. I mean, it, I think they are made to look older but we're done in the 70s, but I don't know. Okay, just a guess on my part. These are $25 and they're number eight. $25, number eight. And you get both. Okay. 
This I just love so much. Um, photos or prints. There's okay. They're they're signed on the thing. These are prints. Okay. There's the signature R. Hendrickson. But they are prints. And this one's this was framed. They're really cool. Yeah. So number I think I said eight. Number eight for twenty five dollars. Yeah, they really are. And if you would see all the other ones, I mean, I could see them like being in a bathroom or something. If you have a long bathroom, you know, or I don't know. Um, or in the hallway leading to a bathroom. I don't know. So this is um, like 16 and a half by 14 and a quarter. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger because that's how big the, the this is. So it's framed. It's super cool. It does have... It does have that little ding, but I think from far, you know, I don't really, I just don't think that that's where your eye goes. I just think this is amazing. To me, it's like Tanala-esque, but definitely high on the boho with these colors hitting you. I just, I think it's really super cool. Is that one of those paintings on bark? Yes. Yes. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah, see. It's really cool. So this is $20 and it's number one. $20, number one. I know, I love it too. I just love it. I just don't have wall space for all of this stuff. All right, Jewel, you got it. Yay. Okay. What's next? The snowman cards. Nobody wanted the snowman cards? To play with their children or grandchildren? No, oh, thank you. This is the case that they come in a little tin. And uh, they're from 2003, but they've probably been played with once, I would imagine. I don't even know. Maybe not even. But so let me show you that the, the face cards are a king, a queen, and a jack. A little, you know, they're these um, snow people. And then the only ace that has a thing on it is this one that I know of. And then these are the jokers. And then, yeah, I just want to make sure on those aces. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. They're super cute, though. It's a little shape, you know. So um, these are $8 and they're number, okay. Belinda, did you want these? Is that what you're saying? Number 11, the, the, these cards for $8? And also, hello. I, th I think you were here last. Okay, you got it. Thank you. All right, next is... Oh, the scoop. I think this would be so cute for air plants or, you know, um, like the, the string of pearls coming out of it. Somebody else had a good idea, too. What was that other thing? I can't remember. 
And this already has this on it. And I'm leaving this because this is like what you would want to be able to hang it, you know? It's, um, let me, I didn't measure it. So let me measure it. It's like 14 inches long. Grapes. Oh, yeah. And like seven inches wide in here, down here. It's super cool. Yeah, to just, or, you know, um, put some um, dice or some marbles or like a uh, tie a, a scarf to it and then have some of the colorful um, crystals in here. Oh, man, yes. Got all your ideas. Tie, tie a scarf up here. Let it kind of flow off to the side. And then put some crystals in here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is $6 and it's number 12. $6 and it's number 12. And I'm pretty sure it was used for like a... Um, oh, that's super cool. That's a great idea. Man. And I know there had been a plant in here, or like a plant thing, a floral decor, whatever. Um, I, I hate it when I go to a Goodwill and you find a, a Magic 8 ball and none of them work. So I'm shaking the crap out of this thing. And I just want to know, is it da-da-da? Or will I da-da-da? And it just never tells me. It always leaves me hanging. It was so good to me when I was young. Why, Magic 8 Ball? Why can't you do your job? Okay. So nobody for this. Okay. I got one more little uh, piece of... Um, oh, is this the last thing, too? Yeah. Okay, this is the last thing. Another little interesting book. Summer of 42. Another classic. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Let's see what I can find. Um... <sighs> she returned and plunked a few ice cubes into his cup so quickly that for a moment, Hermie thought that maybe they were red hot. He looked at the ice cubes shriveling away in the cup, in his cup. He didn't have much time. They'd be gone in a trice. So when her back was turned because she was trying to chip out more ice cubes, he leaned over and rested his tongue on the expiring cubes in his coffee cup. It provided immediate relief. Jesus, she made the hottest coffee in town. Woo-wee! He wasn't quite sure how long she had been talking or just what it was she was saying. He was more involved in tickling the ice cubes with his tongue. When the cubes finally disappeared like e explorers in quicksand, leaving the temperature of the coffee a mere 900 degrees, he looked up to see where she was and what she was doing. She was sitting opposite him and was eating one of the ugh, jelly donuts. She was also talking, and he tuned her in in the middle of a sentence. Such an old stove, I can never quite regulate it, and as far as getting it repaired... There's just no one in the, on the island who knows what to do with a 1934 stove. Well, this didn't get as good as I thought because I saw the word tongue. But, you know, hey, sugar britches. What now? Oh, is that my, um, what? Wait, what? Yes, I can. You know I can, Belinda. No worries there. I know the tonguing. He was tonguing ice cubes. Wait, what? Oh, 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 wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. 
Mm -hmm. Um, here. I don't even know where to start, you guys. Um... Hermie plopped onto his back, popped again onto his back. It was out of his hands, his entire destiny. Ossie had taken over. What a relief to be free of the responsibility. He looked at the women on his walls. June Haver, freshly up, smiled at him through wild blue eyes. What the hell did she have to smile about? She was no Penny Singleton. He picked up the magazine on his night table. Liberty Magazine. Sometimes it had good things. He thumbed through it, looking at the ads. Goodyear claimed that there were plenty of miles in your old tires, yet if you'll follow this common sense advice now, the USO said it needed $32 million by spring. Oldsmobile claimed to be putting the stings in America's wings. Armor and Company invited Hermie to meet the best fed fighters in the world. The U.S. soldier sailor, and marine. From time to time, Hermie heard Ossie groan or just whistle. Eventually, Hermie placed the magazine over his face so that a beautiful girl's mouth fell on his. He dozed off, only to awaken at the sound of his breathing, fluttering against the buzzing page. He removed the girl's wet face from his and turned once more to see what Ossie was up to. He called reverently to Ossie so as not to disturb him. Ossie? Shut up, Hermie. I'm almost finished. He mopped his sweaty face with the sweatshirt nearby. Just what the hell is it that you're doing? Two copies, one for me, one for you. Keep it with you at all times. Refer to it. Learn it. Ossie, excuse me. Learn what? The sexual act in 12 steps. What the hell do you think I'm doing here, Hermie? Answering my fan mail? The sexual what? Ossie was very patronizing. Hermie. Since you don't go calling on your lady with this book under, since you can't go calling on your lady with this book under your arm, I'm condensing it point by point. If you stay close to this, you'll do okay. Hermie swung his legs over the side of the bed. It was beginning to dawn on him what he had suspected for many, many years. Ossie, you're crazy. Yeah, like a fox. He never stopped making his scribbly little notes and he never stopped smiling. Hermie, you're going to lay that lady or I'll know the reason why not. Hermie heard, but he couldn't accept. He even tried to laugh because the idea was so preposterous. I see, I can't lay that lady. Ha, ha, ha. If you put your heart in it, you can. He never looked up, just writing. Seemingly volumes. I see, I can't. He heard himself laughing again, but knew it wasn't funny. Ossie stopped writing. Oski, Ossie, I don't know what it is. Ossie start, stopped writing and looked at Hermie just dis disbelievingly. Don't you want to? Well, sure, I want to, but ha ha ha. Then you will. Stick with me, he resumed writing. Mm. Ossie's going to get Hermie. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? No, this is round two. And that was it. Six dollars, and you can get number 22. Six dollars, number 22. Round two. Hi, Josie. So if you want to really get down and dirty, I'm going to do a special. I'm going to knock a dollar off each, and you can buy both of these for ten dollars for number 25. Number 25 will get you two classic books that might put you to sleep at night, might keep you awake at night. I don't know. Thanks, Lil' Kim. So, that's it, you guys. That's it. 
I only have a few things that didn't sell. Um, uh, the wicker scoop. This did not sell. The the book didn't sell. The um, the photos. The uh, the the throwback sepia colored photos. This did not sell. None of the cat ladies. Ooh, Joanne gonna get it. Ooh, Joanne and Bill are gonna have some reading time. Mm -hmm. How's Bill doing, Joanne? I believe that, Joan. That's what I... That's how I picture like that book either one of those books getting read back in the day. Somebody's mom was reading those books. And actually, I will show you um, something else here. Um, let me cross this out so I don't accidentally. Um, a book that I read in middle school is here too it's a different you know they didn't have the same cover uh i have to get it now that i've done those two books it's like i said it's a different um oh, so many things i gotta sell does anybody remember this book yeah, this book, oh, and by the way, if anybody wanted the cat hooks, they're $12, and it's Avon, $12, number 33, for the hooks, cat hooks, you guys, when I was in eighth grade, this book, okay, first of all, if you're, I'm, I'm 54, Many of you were probably are, are possibly my age, and um, we, we all read, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret, when we were in grade school, right? Yes. Yes. I wish I still had that. Mine was purple and yellow, or purple and her hair was yellow, I guess. That's how I remember it. Um, to send me, is that white bunny on the back, uh, on the shelf for sale? That stuff down here is for my Easter, spring Easter sale. Sorry. Yeah, I had, I had this, I had that painting there. So. See, I knew, I knew. There's no way of covering all that up. This is for sale. This thing. Ugh. Isn't this cool? I, could, I would sell this. It's glass. I had it made. It's, it was expensive, but that's alright. I love it. I think it's very cool. I picked out each letter. And I never actually put it up. Uh, so back to, um, which I wish it didn't have her on the cover because it takes away from the one I had. Which, um, yeah. So this one I read in eighth grade. This one has Ralph in it. Do you guys remember? Anyway, I, this book went around my junior high in eighth grade. And when I had it, the freaking cover came off. Yeah, you can imagine how I felt. Like it was, I thought, oh my God, people are going to be like, Michelle Moss, that was my main name, had that book and boy, oh boy, da 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 da. And oh, I was like mortified. But anyhow, oh, 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 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. Shall I? Shall I? What say you? I thought so. Um, this is the moment here, people. Um, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, I don't know how far back to go. After a minute, I reached for Michael's hand. Show me what to do, I said. Do whatever you want. Help me, Michael. I feel so stupid. Don't, he said, wiggling out of his pajama bottoms. He led my hand to his penis. Catherine, I'd like you to meet Ralph. Ralph, this is Catherine. She's a very good friend of mine. Does every penis have a name? I can only speak for my own. In books, penises are always described as hot and throbbing, but Ralph felt like ordinary skin. Just his shape was different. That and the fact that he wasn't smooth exactly, as if there was a lot going on under the skin. <laughs> I don't know why I'd been so nervous about touching Michael. Once I got over being scared, I let my hands go everywhere. I wanted to feel every part of him. While I was experimenting, I asked, is this right? And Michael whispered, everything's right. And I kissed his face. When I kissed his face, it was all sweaty and his eyes were half closed. He took my hand and led it back to Ralph, showing me how to hold him, moving my hand up and down according to his rhythm. Soon Michael moaned and I felt him. Can I say this? Um, yeah, I better stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll read this later. What page 86? <laughs> These are children doing these things. <laughs> anyway, um, this one's going to be $8 if anybody's interested. $8, and that'll be number 100. <laughs> Just a little Judy Bloom. When I was in eighth grade, this was uh, the book, you know. Judy Bloom was the. Judy Bloom was it what page it was. <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm a 54-year-old woman that's going to be reading a book for young adults now. You once, you were once that age too. Yeah. Underline the good parts. Wait, where's my, um, wait, no, not that one. I'll use pink. <laughs> Post-it notes. They'll be like, flip, 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 flip. <laughs> oh, Lord. I hope that didn't come on there. <laughs> are you guys still here? No. Seven people are still... <sighs> I'm done. In case anybody was wondering. I didn't mean to be done that, like, like short like that but and I want the book please <laughs> up here, here you guys I can't he video chatted me and so I didn't know what to do so bye Jeannie thank you so much um okay so Margaret or I mean <laughs> Martha are you there Martha <laughs> are you there Martha it's me are you there God it's me Martha <laughs> Oh, that was so much fun. So, okay. Martha, I got to put forever, is going to Martha. Don't forget page 86. But it, I got to read it before I... <laughs> oh, gosh. You guys are killing me today. 
Thank you so much. Um, I mean, there's only, oh, everybody's coming back. You guys are awesome. Um, thank you so much, you guys. I needed this. I needed this. Like, you just, you just don't know. Hi, sweet. I love you. There's my girl. Where's Pat Hall? Is she here? Pat was like, where's Rachel? I said, she's at school. How's everything going, sweet? You guys, oh my God, that was so funny. I was like, oh no, I got to take it. I can't not take it. I got to take it. I want to take it. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, and then he's like saying he was, he, yes, I am in a couple minutes. <laughs> I know you guys all like came back for me. <laughs> She's 18. It's okay. <laughs> She's probably, oh my. That's so funny. Oh, you guys, that was awesome. Anyhow, thank you guys so much today was just exactly what I needed. No, still. I'm not staying still. I'm back. I had to go take care of Gandalf. He is not doing well. Oh. Um, well, um, I'm going to let you guys go, but thank you so much. Like I said, today was... I really, really needed this. I, oh, thanks, Jeannie. Jeannie, we got to get together. Oh, is it on there, the whole thing? Yeah, it's still like on. Oh.